Oh, it just says friend. I didn't put that behind the intro. Great. <laughs> hey guys, it's Icewind. It's Icewind Dale with Harold and the Friend Wads. Uh, let's meet these friends. Uh, actually, Harold, what do you remember of what happened last? Uh, we were fighting a Shardlin dragon and trying to stop it from wrecking towns and failing miserably. That is true. Yeah, you guys went into the Dirgar fortress. And before you could get too far in there, you, you heard the doors open up in this huge dragon roar and climb out the top, flying towards Ten Towns. So you went back to your nautiloid spaceship and you were like, hey, Ceramorph guys, help us, drop us off over here. Uh, I think they were like, we don't want to get attacked. We just fixed this fucking ship because Slippy gave us that psychic crystal. Um, so they dropped you off somewhere and took off. Uh, you are currently in Cardinaval. Um, it didn't destroy the whole town, but a lot of it is burning. You did save a lot of people. Uh, didn't You attacked it a little bit, right? Yeah, we tried to. Okay. So, yeah, it, it left Cardinaval and it headed north, which is most likely Karkonig next. Um, Savaran had, like, rallied some... I, I had a moose down, but I... I think it'd probably be more likely that you guys had an axe beak. So you have that and a sled ready to take off to where towards wherever you're going. Um, and I think Celestial actually, Buffalo. Oh yes. And you had, you had cast find steed and summoned this beautiful celestial Buffalo out of nowhere. It's a Buffalo with wings. <laughs> it's, it's it. It drinks Red Bull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, okay. So that's that. Um, and then I guess, you know what, Savran probably pitches to you, you know what, it, since we have two different places, or since we have two different ways to move, I should probably go the other way and double uh, double down on that direction. We should, we can cover his, uh, I don't know what he said. Oh, uh, I'm going to go this way, you guys go that way, we'll meet in the middle, see what happens, um, and Savran like, takes Nymora. What? I'll be like... I'm gonna have, like embrace Savran and be like, "May Bahamut watch your back." <clears throat> and yeah, he pats you on the back. Yeah, Bahamut. Woo! He gives you a high five. Give him. <laughs> I give him like the, it's like super loud. Oh, wait, you want me to roll for it? See how good this high five is. <laughs> yeah, slide a hand or <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Oh shit! I gotta pop these up. Oh, I got some new dice. Oh, do you? I didn't see. I them. guess so. They're looking good. Cool. Oh, they're yeah, probably they're really saved cool. locally, so it's probably just default. Dope. Well, I'm glad you like them. Okay. It's just a mediocre high five, just just standard. Just stand. Yeah, it's just it's your average high five. You guys like stared at each other's elbows perfectly. That it hit. Well, not perfectly. Um. Okay. So, let me start. What What is Nencho and uh, Demas doing. You guys, I guess, were in Cardinaval when this happened, uh, and you see everyone running around. People are screaming and trying to take cover. Buildings are falling down, and this dragon just took off. Um, what are you guys doing? <clears throat> um, I think Nancho will probably be like trying to help people, make sure that everyone's uh, like, there's no injured. Trying to like make sure that uh, injured people. Or like not burning, <laughs> and tend to the wounded. Okay. Okay. Uh. Well. Yeah. I guess. Um. Hang on. I can look at something. Uh, so, yeah, actually, I'll say uh, Nencho and Demas, you guys, I see saw a building, like, collapse, and you hear people screaming from inside. There's about two people stuck under a bunch of wood, um, and I guess you're trying to get them out. Uh, in what way are you trying to get them out? Um, I'll just lift up that piece of wood. Okay. Well, give me a str an athletics check. Alrighty. And can I suggest anyone not wearing headphones to turn your music down so it doesn't loop back through your microphone? 
Oh, is that mine, maybe? Could be. It could be Randy as well. Uh, I got headphones on. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, we... No, not mine. Uh, did... Hang on, I'm not at the screen. Oh, fuck yes, 24. You just, you don't even need Demas' help. You just throw one of these boards to the side. You pull that one person clear. Demas, you give me an athletics check as well. You're trying to get the second person. Oh, shit. It collapses and traps you as well. Uh, and it starts burning <laughs> fires coming down on top of you. Harold, Do I hear this? You, yeah, this is happening like right to the south of you. Oh, what do that, you do, Harold? I've... I fucking ooh man! I use my feline agility and I fucking sprint full force over there, man. Oh, just dash, shit. Terminator style. Doosh, 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 doosh. Doosh, doosh. You're just on all fours. Doosh, 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 yeah, doosh. man. You get right in there. there. You just slide into the the burning building. Nencho's there. And Demas is is stuck under a bunch of wood with this commoner. Just Demas. Just Demas is stuck. <laughs> just Demas got stuck. Yeah, yeah. Nencho. It was uh, to the help side. Me. Alright, I'm gonna help Nensha okay. lift up this. this okay. Wood. Uh, who wants to do the roll? Do it with advantage, because you're getting help. I Is guess. That, uh, that's alt? Yes, Damn, alt. You're, you? pretty, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I'm pretty strong. Alright, athletics? Mm hmm. Fuck, there you yes. Go. It's not even Woo. a problem. Uh, nice. Yeah, both of you get up under this wood and you lift it up, and Demas and the commoner are able to crawl free. Oh, thank you. Oh. <coughs> so they're coughing out right? the smoke. Yeah, I'm like <coughs> covered in soot. Is there yeah. anybody else in the building? No, that was just, it was just us. Everyone else got out. <laughs> All right, let's get out. All right, let's call. They, they, yeah, they, you guys get out. And as, as you step outside the building, the roof collapses fully and just poof, a bunch of smoke billows into the air. And in the distance, you can see the glow of this dragon's like burning stomach, just like a furnace getting further away, heading north. Is the stronghold, is like the castle like area or whatever still kind of intact? Uh, actually, out of this whole town, yeah. That's like the only thing that's almost untouched. Have We haven't been there, right? You have. That's where you got Kadroth. Oh, he was there? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll just tell. Can I tell uh, them to head to the the hold, the keep? Yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, what the people? Yeah, yeah. Like gotcha. you know, so we can yes. kind of like reform. Oh, thank you. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, one of the guards of the tomb. Well, there, I guess yeah, just one of the militia uh, leaders is there and just starts gathering people. They see you pointing people that way. Good idea. Everyone into the keep. And they, yeah, everyone just starts running up that way towards the castle. I think I'm sorry that this is what you have run into. Are you guys okay? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Uh, is that a dragon? It's an abomination of a dragon. It's not actually a dragon. I guess you would notice I'm like totally decked out in like Bahamut gear. <laughs> like I have like a, a I have like a tabard on with like the crest of Bahamut and like a medallion of Bahamut. Okay. <laughs> and like Style. a sword, the hilt's got like a dragon on it, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, your plate cool. has it in the middle. I, I probably have just like a, just a, a symbol that I'm wearing around my neck of Bahamut. Oh. Okay. Good. Hell yeah. Oh, good thing we so have. I also, mm -hmm. I, I also bow to Dano because he's a dragonborn. Oh, fuck oh. yeah. Well, and he has, yeah, you have that in common. If he's got a Bahamut freaking symbol, mm -hmm. you guys are instantly hitting it off. Oh, Do don't, you... don't bow to me. I'm just, uh, I'm just a guy. And uh, I offer my hand as a handshake. <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm like, oh, let me, I don't know if you're aware, but I like put my hand up for like a high five. Uh, what's that? Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, uh no, uh, put your hand, thrust your hand forward into my hand. Like, One of the commoners like, walking by steals his high five. Whoosh. Interception! <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh shoot! Is that like that? I do like yeah, that. Just like that. All right, all right. I think I get it. I think I get it. All right, and then. I... <laughs> no. So yeah, your pinkies make contact as you pass. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on it. We'll we, we'll definitely work on oh, it. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. I'm not like okay. 
Did you do? Did you make that up or? I I did. I'm That's trying to spin cool. it as a show of good faith. It is. I mean, it is pretty cool. I'll, I'll admit that. Once you make better contact, like it makes a real cool noise. Yeah, yeah that you noise know. that you guys did earlier, that was really satisfying. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes it's like that. <laughs> D Demis, what are you? What are you doing? Anything during this? You've just been saved. <clears throat> uh, good question. Um, what am I doing? Demis, what do you look like? What do I look like? I'm like a big guy. I'm like six five. I'm a human, and I kind of look like. I was thinking like Hagrid from the Harry Potter, you know? Okay. Like okay. Okay. So just a big burly dude. Yeah. Yeah. Man we're we're a big we're a big crowd. I'm like six five. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think actually I think I had my guy. Yeah, I'm only five nine. I'm kind of scrawny. Okay. Like okay. like as far as like uh like I'm very muscular, but I'm like live. Mm-hmm. Uh. So yeah, you guys are probably taller, both taller than me. <laughs> See, I'm kind of slow though, so I'm not a, I'm not like a fast guy. My name is about strong. Maybe. Yeah, we should probably all describe our characters. Uh, I'm a silver dragonborn. Uh, I uh, probably, like yes, I would love you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm very skinny. Um, just big muscles. Got a, like maybe just like a couple of like simple tribal tattoos on my arms but i'm wearing plate mail i've got and i've got two big battle axes on my back and a couple of other uh, axes and weapons mm. on my side it's funny because i'm a i'm a white tiger it's like a, literally like fur pattern of a white tiger but i'm like okay. silver essentially like i'm i'm pretty much also like platinum okay do you, okay. Do you walk on all fours or do you stand no up? i i stand up but uh, i don't have any gloves or i don't have any uh shoes because of, you know i use my claws to help me gain traction and stuff okay. so uh, you need to know what i'm doing oh i don't need to know i was just checking with you to see if you're doing anything oh, okay. i mean you and men like show have here. known each other a little bit but now you're getting introduced to this of uh, this tabaxi and plate mail or plate armor uh yeah what's your say anything or do anything What's your name, friend? That's what I was gonna I'm, like reach over and be like. Well, my name is Harold. What's your I'm, name? I'm Nencho. I'm Nencho. Demus. Demus. It seemed like you should have been able to end yourself. I'm. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. I'm just. I'm slow. <laughs> yeah, I found him at the bottom of a pit that I I didn't fall into. Like I just found him there, and yeah, we we made our way out, bought some uh, knolls. You know, same, no big deal. Uh, we, uh, we fought some hyenas too, right? Well, you don't know what a knoll is, so I just told you they were like hyena-like type, type oh, things, okay. but essentially that's what they are, knolls. Well, you seem capable adventurers. Maybe we should travel together for now. Yeah, not really don't have much going on here. Uh, what's uh, wh What are you doing around these parts? Oh, well, I guess now we're trying to form a plan as to how to stop this Charterland dragon. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't want a dragon attacking over here. It's bad enough as it is. Yeah, it's made of yeah. this. What is it like? A crystal, like a ore, kind of. Yeah, it's like part metal, part crystal. It's like a weird. Uh, well, everybody, give me like an arcana check. Me too. Yeah. Although with advantage for you, because you're. Oh no! Oh, one person got one, and one yeah. person got crit. Oh, shit, I, just, I got. Clicked on I got plus or minus one. <laughs> I like that it says plus minus one. There we go. I mean, you're not wrong, but I'm. I don't like it. Well, that, I, I guess you know. Or well, Nencho d recalls that, like years ago in this area. Um, I think his name was an evil wizard from the, uh, I, I think it was a red wizard of Thay. Uh, but he came in and he had found this artifact called Krishinabon and had like created this massive tower out of crystal. And when he was defeated, it exploded and fused with the ice and turned into dark crystal, this chart. Wow. Um, so. A crystal it's, dragon? That must be a, an, that must be a symptom of the Kershinabon. Uh, 
Right. Bless you. And not with that clan. Oh no, it's uh, it was some wizard stuff. You know, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, they infused a bunch of the local wildlife with this crystalline plague, basically. <laughs> I only know of this because my clan was uh, back then was kind of involved with it, but that's the only reason I know. Well, maybe they found all the pieces and have assembled a dragon. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's I guess that's what the uh, the Durgar were after. Well, yeah. Do you have any leads, or do you do, did you see which way it flew? I just was kind it's of taken. Heading north. It's actually headed to Kerkonik. Okay. I have I have a a buffalo and a sled. I'm, I'm sure we could travel there a little bit quicker if we. What's wanted a buffalo? To head there. Now just. Follow where you guys go. My my wife left me, so I am purposeless right now. Oh, oh, oh that's that's pretty heavy right now, man. Yeah, oh. man. Yeah, I'm looking for something to do. Uh, I mean, you know, if you want to throw your life into the fire because of because of a woman, <laughs> let's do it. I'm I'm for it, buddy. All I'm you need is Bahamut anyway. I'll tell you that. I'm hoping to meet a new woman on my path on my journey. Awesome. Good luck. <laughs> oh, God. So we can head north. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be quicker than a dragon. No, but hopefully we can at least... Did you guys hurt it at all? We did seem to harm it a little bit, but I don't think it made much of a difference. Well, maybe it went to go heal or, like, plan. Dragons maybe are usually pretty crafty, so... Take a long rest. You're going to rest before you leave? I would like to. We could spend the rest of the day, like, um, taking yeah, people, like, making sure the town is cool and, like, making sure people get up to the keep. Like, there's no, like, you know, the old people, like, the old woman <laughs> walking on the street, like, no, I gotta go home. It's like, no, you can't go home. You have to go up to the keep. I'm sorry. Yeah, she keeps trying to go into her burning house and you're just no, like... No, it's like, you can't. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get your pictures, I promise. <laughs> but my dog is in there! <laughs> We we check. There's no dog. I promise. No! He'll come back. He, they're smart. He ran away. He ran away. He's gonna come back. He's smart. Okay. Do you have one of those shiny blankets? Uh, yeah. She, no. Like no. You mean like the fireman blanket? Yeah. Here <laughs> yeah. you go. Here you go. Oh. oh. And she just kind of <laughs> sobs as she heads towards the keep. Yeah, I saw her dog. It was in hell. Where all dogs go. <laughs> I mean, she's oh, still right there. She's right there. Oh, Dogs she yeah she crazy. didn't or uh, give me a, no it's fine yeah she did not <laughs> she's just walking away uh okay well shoot okay so yeah what you guys are you guys help get all these people into the into the the keep um and you guys you guys are gonna sleep there or what what you can do whatever you want just time is ticking but up to you oh yeah we can sleep on the road. Yeah, I mean, we take a long rest, but if we take a long rest... I'm full up. I'll, 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 you can you can nap it up, bud. So maybe we, we'll we we'll just take the... We can take the buffalo, head mm -hmm. towards Karakonig, and I can just sleep in the sled. There you go. I'm yeah. okay with this. I'm not too tired. It's only going to be an hour to get there, so I don't know if you can oh, fit a full long okay. rest in there. Mm. Do you, you take a short rest? Mm, I, it's not my hit points. Oh, oh yeah, you okay. it's a long rest thing. You're trying to recover. I need spells. I have known. Yeah, we can we can rest tonight. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Well, give me an insight check, Harold. Yeah, I've been rolling terrible all night. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean. Uh, this isn't to say don't take a rest, because obviously you need to regain abilities to be able to fight anything. Um, but it's probable that with how small Kerr Koenig is, that by the time you finish a long rest, it'll be finished with Kerr Koenig. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's like eight hours. All right. I'm just going to tell you guys we got to push through it. Uh, I mean, I... I you can totally really sleep and try to of... cut it off somewhere else. I mean, yeah. Kerr Koenig's at the end of this path. And to get Did it seem like next it was going like when we were battling this dragon? Was it flying like a specific direction? 
Like, was it trying to, like, circle? Well, how know? about this? It's only an hour away. We can go there. If it's getting attacked, we'll know. And then we can just, like, go around the perimeter mm -hmm. and just try to help people that we can and just stay out of the way or, you know, like, because we can't fight it. I don't... Like, I'm pretty strong, but I don't know if I can fight some weirdo zombie oh, crystal dragon or whatever we it is. Doing, we were not doing damage. We well, just gotta be well then, way. maybe this is, maybe this is, like, either, if they, if they don't know, like, if we don't go, and it hasn't been there yet, and they get su totally surprised, like, maybe we can cut it off somehow and help some people. Say, so maybe we can, yeah, show up somewhere before he gets there. Uh, and then that way we don't have to commit to a fight. We can just, like, we'll be able to see a dragon attack coming up. If, like, you know what I mean? And it's going to be attacking the city, so we'll be able to duck off to the side somewhere, hopefully. And yeah, just so turn back saying, around. You're saying go to a city and, like, evacuate it, basically, before the dragon gets there? No, you're saying go to the city that it's flying towards and, like, just be on the perimeter. Oh, okay. We can. Yeah, well, I mean, look, I, evacuate I, I, them if the dragon isn't there, and if the dragon is there, we can make another plan from that point, and then, like, you know, figure out what's all, next. People are in danger. I think we should definitely just ride cool with that. Okay. Okay, I agree. Uh, to address something that Harold had asked, like, do you know where it's going? I think that you had noticed, like, big billowing pillars of smoke coming from Dugan's Hole, Good mead. It one is also coming from the south at East Haven, so it seems to be going in that direction. So yeah, it went bump bump bump. So it these hit plumes of smoke aren't from the dragon. It seems like a signal, more or less. It seems like just the, I mean, a, not as thick of one is for, forming in the town you're in. So it just seems like the sign of the destruction that it hit. Hmm. I got gotcha. you. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, you guys, you guys all hop on the buffalo and the sled, um, and you guys head north towards Kerr Koenig. And let's get you in here. All right. Um, yeah, you arrive at, let me push an hour, at about seven o'clock. The sun set at about four, so it's dark outside, but you can see it circling the town. It's just strafing the outside, blasting it with its beam of energy out of its mouth, burning up buildings. Um, what are you guys doing? There's people running around out of the, bur the buildings that are burning near you. Uh, it hasn't hit that much yet. <clears throat> Did it fly when you guys attacked it last time, or? Uh, last time we were in an airship. We had oh. a little bit of a, like... Oh, kind you of were shooting ballista thing, bolts at, I think. Yeah, anyway. we had That's a, a good... entire ballista. Can I see anything? I can't see anything right now. Oh, hang yeah, on, let me see. Where we are. Oh, intro oh, I think it's still loading, maybe. Is that possible? Let's say. Maybe. Look, I know I don't have any spells or anything like that but i can't just stand idly, idly by i have to go in there no i agree let's go try to like help people let's see if uh let's try to um do you let's like how fast is it flying around just slowly like slow enough where if we're clever we could like follow behind it as it strikes around or you know it flies at a whopping how <laughs> like are we it was a big thing last time, but he was saying, I think he says it went, it goes 10 miles an hour or something like that. Okay. It oh, goes right. five five miles an hour. It go, it, <laughs> it, the, the Nautiloid spaceship was about the same speed as the dragon. Okay. Then, well, maybe like we go counter to its rotation. So like, hopefully we won't like, the least amount of time to get like caught up. Like, if it's flying towards us, it's easier to dodge than if it's flying behind yeah, us. Yeah, if it's flying like... in circles, we want to go counterclockwise. Like, if it's mm -hmm. going clockwise, we want to go counterclockwise, so it only has, like, a brief second to strike. Mm-hmm. I see. Did it load in for you guys eventually? No. I see it's in the top left-hand corner. It was loading for me. It got to 100%, and then I just had black screen, so I refreshed the page, and now I'm still stuck at a loading bar. 
Ooh. Okay, well, it doesn't technically matter. Oh, we don't have to use the map per se. This is more. Yeah, this fine. section is more theater of mine. Uh, so you guys are making this plan, and you see it kind of strafing and blasting at buildings. Um, and then uh, you, you guys see in within the town, it's not just people. There's a group of people are screaming and running towards you, run past you, and chasing them. Uh, seems to be a, a Durgar who is enlarged to twice its size, and it's oh. just swinging its war pick and smashing people that are nearby, trying to take out buildings. Sure. I'm gonna go run at this motherfucker. Yeah, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm yeah. going to too. Um, I'm just gonna look at you, uh, Harold. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, friend, uh, strike him and then split up, try to divert his uh, attention. And like whenever we get up to him, I'm gonna throw a hand axe at him and then like cut. You want me to? You said strike him when? I just like to like like we're both gonna hit him and run other ways. So okay. like like get him to stop attacking innocent people like that Ooh, can't you know defend what? themselves. I bet I have a javelin. Yeah, I'm gonna. Throw right a now javelin. I can see. Yeah. Yeah, and I can see everything now. I'll refresh. Oh, you can see it now. Yeah, I can see it now. But yeah, I'm just gonna follow suit, and I'm just gonna like pull a javelin from my back, and I'm gonna be like, and I'm just gonna like take a few steps and just hurl this javelin at this Durgar. Oh shit. Okay. Fuck yeah. Oh cool. It's letting you roll without any. Okay. Uh, well, do you th do you say you throw that? What were you doing with the hand? Yeah. I'm just throwing it. It's okay if I miss. I just want him to have attention. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, it, it it sees you throw this hand axe and it goes flying past it. Or it actually probably ricochets off of its armor. Um, and then it looks up at you and then yells. Does anyone speak Dwarvish? I don't uh, think anyone does. I don't, I don't, think, so. don't think so. No. Draconic and Goblin. All right. Well, yells something at you in Dwarvish. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to throw my javelin, but I'm still loading in. Um, hey, what kind of people are in this town, by the way? Are they, um, you know what I mean? Are they just like villagers, like just families and stuff? Um, it's a mix. Yeah, I mean this this town is fairly small, so a lot of them are just kind of average commoners. Um, okay. Not a not a lot of families out this way. Probably just more like. Uh, I don't know, like older hard. people who just kind of lived hard. here and didn't move out when things started okay. turning worse in this area. Um, I yeah. can't uh, click anything. No yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know what... The, here, hang on. Let me... Oh, I'm back. Let me... Oh. Did that help? There we go. Now you can see your tokens, I think. Hopefully. I can't... Well, I can see the dragon. I don't know where we are. Uh -huh. It should be up here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's kind of dark, I don't know why. Yeah, it is dark. It is, because because it's dark outside. Because yeah, it's ah, always okay. dim light pretty much all the time. I have a, a sun setting, so it gets bright when it is out, but it is dark yeah. here. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hit him either, but that's okay. All right, which way do you want to go? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Uh, south. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll go this way then. Yeah, I'll get out of here. And then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna yell back to, uh, I'm sorry, what was his name again? Da, 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 Demis? Da, Demis. Yeah, I'm gonna say, Demis, help the people! Yeah. I got you, bro. bro. <laughs> what do you, also, what do you do to help them? More Durgar. So, um, I see, like, maybe some, like, a couple vulnerable people trying to escape, so I... I kind of like stand in front of them and shield them a bit. Oh, okay. And, and and one lady sort of falls a bit, so I help her up and like get behind me. You know, you guys will be safe back here. I'm like a big guy, so I'm just kind of standing there and, and protecting them. You're so um, strong. <laughs> <laughs> says the woman that you just helped. So she, I'm just she kind will of let like, go of your arm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like just sort of protecting them at the moment. Okay, you're just like a human shield from this like a, yeah. assortment of people that are you've kind of crowded behind you. Yeah. Okay, and did I get that right? Nencho and Harold kind of go opposite sides of this deer guard. Yeah, to try to yeah, get yeah. around. 
Okay. Uh, well then, let me just uh, let's just roll a D two and say Harold's one, Nencho's two. He go. He turns towards Nencho as Nencho runs to that side, and he kind of runs up at you, um, and he takes his war pick and swings it down on you. Nineteen to hit. hit oh my! God. Oh, just barely. And he's enlarged, so he's like super, super strong, and it hits you for twenty-three piercing damage. Oh, that's that's blood. That's (laughs) fucked up. Okay, Uh, actually, let's roll into an initiative, just so we can split up. You boys hurt. You boys hurt. Yeah, (laughs) I have. Five lay on ho- lay on hands points. It's cool. I, I have my I can heal myself a couple ways. Okay. Um. So let's get over to. He just went. Harold, or Demas. Are you doing anything? I'll let you go first because you rolled the highest. Okay. Yeah. So I got. I helped those people to like higher ground, so they're safe now. And then. Uh, Hang on. And then let me see here. Um. Uh, can I use uh, one of my uh, cantrips on this guy here? Yeah, sure. Okay, I, so. Um, can I? Oh, man, I know it's like. Uh, but I have my channel divinity and I can rebuke the violent. I know it's oh. not immediately after. Can I do that, though? Like after he hit Nencho? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, if it's like right after someone gets hit, sure. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Randy. I didn't want to cut you off. No, you're fine. Oh, well, that's where it's applicable. Yeah, for sure. All right. So all it says is uh, within 30 feet, uh, if somebody deals damage, which looks like it's like. It's further, but I'm not worried about the spacing right now. Okay. Uh, I can use my reaction to force the attacker to make a wisdom saving throw. On failure, the attacker takes radiant damage equal to the damage it just dealt. Or half damage damage on success. It doesn't negate. Awesome, dude. It doesn't negate what happened to Nencho, but it it hurts. No, so fun. If he gets hit for twenty or ten damage, that's really takes lit right there. Oh, so wisdom save. Yes. All right. DC fourteen. Oh, six. Yes. Yes. All right. (laughs) So (laughs) what happened? He takes what damage? He takes uh, radiant damage. So of can I just, like, the see amount this that he tipped, like, yeah, like, like pissed off and just like fucking glow and just like blast some fucking energy. Be like, <laughs> don't hurt my Bahamut friend. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my emblem glows a little bit as that happens. <laughs> Randy, what were you going to do? Oh, I was going to splash some acid on this guy. Okay, well, you go to splash some acid, but Harold comes up with this radiant beam and just singes his his beard off. All of his hair's gone, and he just his <laughs> eyes roll up in his head, and he falls to the ground, burnt to a crisp. Oh yeah, Man. and your acid just kind of falls on on his burnt up body and sizzles <laughs> up the skin. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, that was cool. Fuck nice yeah. Time. Okay, I was I'm like, sorry, what baby. are you guys gonna do about this huge deer gar? And, well, that, I thought you didn't have any spells left. Well, I have my paladin abilities, but... No, Bahamut be praised. <laughs> can I, I'm going to run over to Nensho and offer him healing. I don't have much, but I can give you a little healing Sorry. if you need it. Uh, yeah, uh, and then I'll... I guess might as well. I'll just do my second wind here, too. Okay. You got five points. Oops. Uh, click the healing. Ooh. Back up to full. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey. Oh, yes. Hey, that turned around for us, guys. <laughs> yeah, it went better than expected. Yeah. <laughs> and did you did you heal him as well, Harold? Yeah, I healed him for five. That's what he had put the plus five, I think. No, oh, I just I I just rolled a ten on my second win. Oh, so well, you're get... you're healed up. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so I have to I'm add good. another five as well? Okay. Blah. No, don't. I was about to say, you don't even have to, because he's already healed up with that 15. No, no I needed your five. I needed your, your five. five will help, too. Oh, okay, no, no. Then, yeah, mm-hmm. give, him the five. give him the five. I got hit okay. for 20, exactly, so. Boom. Perfect. Oh, yeah. All right. Like, nothing even happened. Fuck, yeah. So, 
Uh, yeah, what are you guys doing now? The at Deergar is decimated. Everyone is in shock. They're kind of peeking over Demas' shoulders. Then she'll be I'm I'm this. Yeah, no, it worked out. Uh, uh, Alright, people, uh, it should be safe now. Like, get out of here while you still can. Um, Go to Care... Which one is this? Care Koenig. Go get no, Care Koenig. This is Care Koenig. Oh, Care, Care Deneval. Care Deneval. Care Herr the the uh the fortress there still stands and it wasn't attacked as badly. That's the same place to Kadroth. go. What'd you say, Harold? Seek out Kadroth. I don't know if he's still at the keep, but as far as I'm concerned, he's still a good dude. Yeah, yeah, as far as you know. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean that's not to say he isn't, but yeah. Uh <laughs> and then yeah, the the woman who's like holding Demas's arm is like, Oh my oh my god, did you do that? With your acid? <laughs> she's like that was all Demas. Yep, that was, that was seriously Demas. <laughs> and she's like feeling my muscles and stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> Demas. I like, I like, I like winking Demas. Demas. Thank you. Like, Whoa, yeah. Demas! You gotta you gotta reel in that power sometimes, bud. Yeah, yeah, Demas. I don't know what I, I, that guy had me if you wouldn't have been there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. All right, let's save these people that are on fire. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're telling a bunch of these people to head out, go towards Care Deneval. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna, we're, I guess we'll make like a stronghold if we need. It's only an hour or two. It's not very far, I guess. Yeah. It's two hours on foot, one with in a sled. With a buffalo. <laughs> yeah, one with a buffalo. How many times? Oh, I don't have any spell slots left. I think if I cast Fine Steed, I only have my one steed and it'll, oh shit. Oh, there he is. Oh no. Get, get the cover. It's swooping is there, around. Is there a building it's... not on fire? What's that? Is there a building that's not on fire that I can duck into? Like this building? No, he's really trying to. Work? No, go. A uh, one that's on fire is probably better to duck into because he's going to be <laughs> shooting the ones that are on fire. That's true. <laughs> is I yeah. mean, but I, the, I just want to try yeah. to hide. Can we just make a stealth or? You want? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Just do a stealth and just try to get out of uh, the way I so it doesn't see. Hey, does, does it say does he even see us? I got. I totally have disadvantage. Damn, I still rolled a 15, though. Shit, yeah. Oh, what do you need with disadvantage? I have uh, played. Yeah, oh, you're supposed played, to. So I also would have disadvantage, too. It doesn't oh, matter. I, I rolled shitty. It's okay. <laughs> well, I was I was going to do a group check. So that the person, the Nencho, you're, like, tripping, but they grab you and pull you in at the last oh, minute. Oh, buddy. You all get into a building, um, and it's out of the way. It, it passes overhead, and you just hear destruction left and right. Um... It does not hit the building that you're in, but you hear some screams from outside in the distance, and just. Does more it sound pshaw. like Godzilla? Godzilla's roar. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't yeah. have the sound effect anymore. Yes, it sounds exactly like Godzilla's roar. <laughs> uh, does this? <laughs> no, that's not Godzilla. There you go. That was almost. Uh, does Karakonig have like a fort or like a keep? Mm mm. Yeah, I no. guess. Well, just okay. Going, well, like... you came in and it used to have a keep, but it was demolished a long time ago in an orc raid. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess we're going to just I get let's just keep going, try to get it out as many people as we can and just try to keep doing that like up towards the northeast. Just we keep going around. We should also see if there's any more Durgar. Yeah, we that's true. We should maybe take one prisoner and see maybe if they know like the flight plan of the dragon or they, they have something to do with this in. i mean obviously they do if they're not getting attacked the durgar yes so we actually came out of their fortress you uh, can guess, tell me can later like, it's not the time I was Let's asking, go. can we be running as we're <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you're talking you're just running through town looking for people to help um and as you're running through a ten towner in to a torn cold weather clothing stumbles into view falls in the snow and gets back up from 20 feet away you can see that the person is leaving a trail of blood in the snow he's out of breath <laughs> oh no is there more Durgar? Uh, i don't i can't it's something hit me i couldn't see him oh no oh shit there's there's nothing i can do for you friend <laughs> oh i'll go kill myself then can i do like a medicine no. check See if like I can maybe like patch the wound up or something. Hell yeah! Okay. Can I try to perceive uh, any like the, it's snowy out, right? Mm -hmm. Can I see like the snow being disturbed? Because he said something he couldn't see. I'm trying to perceive something okay. that is invisible, perhaps maybe. Most 
Definitely. Um, okay. Yeah, give me a perception then. And uh, Harold is just pounding on this guy's chest like, Live, damn you! Live! <laughs> <And> it's just <laughs> not working. Clear. <laughs> Fucking clear! <laughs> uh, and I guess, yeah, Anensha, you're kind of scanning the snow, looking for maybe something invisible. Um, and something unseen is making footprints in the snow. And those footprints are getting closer. Yeah. And then can I... I'm I'm joining Nencho and looking for that. Okay. Uh -huh. you, uh, well, you also you, roll a perception then. Okay. Do you know the spell Fairy Fire? Me? <laughs> I don't think that's okay. Else. You're a sorcerer, yeah, right? Yeah, do you tell me? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I would probably say... Or no, I'd probably try to swing first. Like, if he makes his perception check, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll like point like with my eyes uh mm -hmm. to demus like saying like oh he's right there and then like i guess with his perception check being higher than mine you probably see it too mm -hmm. yeah most of yeah <laughs> both of you spot it and kind of look at each other yeah i see and then i'm gonna uh you see the snow there's just small like dwarf sized footprints pressing into the snow but no body can above it just invisible can i swing where i think it's gonna be with both of my axes and then as i'm doing that i'm gonna say harold i think we have company yes indeed what? uh so swing well hang on let me put a token Oops. show yourselves <laughs> let's Hang on, let's move your tokens. You guys right ran up a little bit. Where did I put it? This guy? I think I got him targeted. It's just like a little invisible icon. I can see the invisible icon. No, I don't know. It, is it? Well, I think that's a commoner. See. No, that's a com no, that's a commoner. Oh, okay. Don't, I don't swing on the commoner. I won't uh, swing on the commoner. <laughs> Let me make it a little Ooh, bit bigger too. I have not used my divine sense. All right. Oh, and swing with disadvantage because it's invisible. Yep. It's control, right? Yes. I think. All right. Uh, yeah. 14. Shoot. Yeah, that misses. You 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 don't make contact. You just sweep right, the uh, area. Um Am I getting a full, like, attack, attack, bonus sure. action? Yeah, yeah, you can take a full okay. turn. Oh, shit, that wasn't with disadvantage, so I need to roll another one. Oh, double 15, so, so, 21? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that one hits. For five slashing damage, some blood spurts out of this. Well, actually, what, you hit it and it becomes visible, probably? I'm not sure. Invisible. I guess you have to see what are. Until it attacks, or until its concentration is broken, so he has to make a save. With so I might not have had to roll with disadvantage on that one. Okay, no, he he maintain, maintains concentration, so he's still invisible. All right, then with an eleven for my disadvantage, since I accidentally didn't roll it again, uh, that would have been an I rolled an eighteen and eleven. Eleven would have missed. All right, so I hit him once. He's right here. Uh, and then um, Demas, you're right there. You see him as well. What do you do? Are you attacking him? Yeah, I'm not sure where my character went. Though. I was about to say. Uh, here, I'll pull you. Initiative. Oh, that's me right there. Yeah. Are you sure? What? Right here? Yeah. Right. No, I'm the guy with the beard. Not sure. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, there's the token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there he is. Top. I'll delete him. All right. So here, yeah, I'll so let we... have you run up next to the guy. Yeah. So we can see him now, right? So no. Well, you know oh. that he's in that area, but he's still invisible. So you still you you know that he's there, but you're gonna swing oh. with disadvantage because he's invisible. All right. Well, I guess I will swing um, my dagger or. I gave you that thing that you talked about if you want to try to okay. use that. I don't know if I was close enough, but yeah, let me give that a shot. So I take out my cheese grater. And, uh... <laughs> okay. So hold oh, control when you make now, the attack. Now, 
what kind of cheese grater are we talk about? Like the kind that's like bell shaped that has the all four sides that have different grating styles on them, or? Yeah, dude, it's the most badass cheese grater you've ever seen. Man, getting <laughs> hit with a like cheese grater would real, suck bro. so bad. Just a cheese <laughs> grater to the face, that would be horrible. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, you're pretty impressed by my cheese grater. Whoa, he's got one of those? Oh, God. Uh, I mean, you just, I guess you, you feel it hit something metal, so it bounces off and doesn't make contact with skin. You, you don't see any blood coming down it like you normally do. <laughs> like I normally do. Yeah. Uh, do you do anything else? Do you have any bonus actions? <laughs> uh, I guess not, really. I'm not sure. No, you don't. Okay, well, I guess, uh, unless you move, do you move anywhere? No, I'm just going to stay where I'm at for right now. All right. Uh, Harold, what are you, oh, I should roll him in, but Harold, what are you doing? Can I use Divine Sense? Uh, so, probably what does it do? As an action, I can detect good and evil. Until the end of my next turn, I can see, I can sense anything affected, uh, and I can know the location of any, oh, it's not Celestial Fiend or Undead. It's like anything affected by the hallow spell. Yeah, specifically. but it's it, but it's got Oh, be and they're not celestial fiend. Then. Well, you know exactly where your buffalo is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um Can I where was uh Ninja I I I pointed. I, I said oh, actually, I said, he's, "Hey he's, Harold, he's, he's right here." now, right? He's what? He's, he's oh, not he's visible not. yet, but I, I, I'm not. letting I, you know. Like, I just hit him, and you probably could see, like, maybe some blood yeah. on the ground can, or, like, the Can I just, like, run up there and then try to swing in that space then? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Swing something with disadvantage. With alt? Control. No, what is it? Control. Oh, I got a control. I got a fucking select first. That's right. Rough. Uh. Oh shoot! Yeah, again, same thing as with Demas. It just hit something metal. He, it was blocked. Show yourself. And you, you I guess scum. you just, you just hear something. You hear Dwarvish. Just he's mumbling something in Dwarvish angrily. No, I mean get Um. And I guess it's his turn technically, even though he's not in this order correctly, but uh, he's oh, going to, I guess Nencho is the one who hit, well, Nencho is the one that hit him, but he looks like Demas is a little bit smushier, so he comes at Demas. Oh, wait. Well, no, yeah, he does. Wait, oh, he has advantage because he's an unseen attacker, right? Yeah. Yep. He's just back there miring the, the, the corpse. Whew. So he hits Demas in the neck for 18 oh. piercing damage. A spurt of blood Jeez. shoots Jeez. out. Uh, but he becomes visible now because he made an attack. That was your mistake. And let me double check if he's got... Multiple attacks? I don't think he has multiple attacks, but I don't think he has like a special bonus action either. Okay, yeah, so he just stays put, having attacked there. Um, yeah, yeah, he stays put. And let's say, I guess it's... I'll just jump back into the order. Harold, what are you going to do? I? Who, me? Well, I, I know yeah, we're out of order. Me. I just... I wasn't in combat tracker order, and now I'm trying to... What, whatever order you guys want to go in before he goes again. <laughs> well, I ain't really got much other than the stabby stab. All right, if you just want to let me fucking just wail on this guy again. No, yeah. I'm going I'm to stab him. I'm definitely okay. going to stab him. Okay. But all, that's all I got. All, like, all I got is stabby stab. Stab, stab him. him up. It's a beautiful sword you oh. have there. Oh, fuck yeah. Now Thanks. he becomes visible. You just, there he is. What'd you say? I said, he says, that's a nice sword you have. And I was like, as I'm stabbing, I'm like, thanks, it's made for killing Durga. <laughs> a casual conversation. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> uh, do I have two attacks at level five? Yeah, you have an oh. extra attack. Yeah, yeah. paladins okay. do. Okay. Oh, wait, so, I got to uh, apply the damage. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to hit him with the other one. Oh, man, that's... 
<laughs> Almost Ooh. 18. He swings up his, his uh, pickaxe and blocks it. Tell us what your plan is. And you guys don't understand any of it. Oh, man. Nencho. Or yeah, you didn't have anything shirt. else, right, Harold? No bonus? No. Okay. Nencho. That's, pre that's pretty personal, man. <laughs> so, I, I guess we do... Capturing one of these guys will be good. Can I do non-lethal damage with my attacks? Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you knock him out, we could, you can just say that he's unconscious. All right. All right, here we go. Man. All right, there's one miss. Luckily, I have multiple attacks. He blocks it with his shield. Second Man. one, he blocks it with his pickaxe. All right. Here under my breath. Maybe I shouldn't have adventured with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more. 18. Ooh, that one hits. All right, this is bonus attack, so it doesn't get the uh, additional... Um, oh, okay. It doesn't get so my we'll damage subtract. modifier, I don't think. Yeah. So Ooh. seven. So seven. Yeah, just do that separately. All right. Yeah, blood starts to drip out of his eyes. And uh, that's your. Are you moving at all? Is that your turn? Uh, I could have had advantage. Um, I am going to uh, move. <laughs> It won't let me move my token. Only you move your have to use... Okay, I could just I couldn't drag him. All right, yeah, I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna try to flank him over on this side. So okay. whenever it's his turn, oh, he can get advantage. Okay. Hell yeah! Hit him with the cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> with the cheese grater, demon. Cheese grater, baby. Coming right up. All right, you'll have advantage too since I'm flanking him. Yep. So hold alt. Or depending on what you're doing, yeah, I mean. Yeah, so I'm like, I like get off the ground, like kind of coughing up blood and like holding my neck together. And then mm. I, I I swing my, my cheese grater at him. Oh. oh, it just scrapes down the side of his face, clearing off part of his beard. It's just raw skin. <laughs> nice. Click the damage. You laugh. <laughs> I know how much they value their beards. <laughs> So click the damage in the chat. Gotcha. Uh, cheese grater. Critical hit or normal? Just normal. Just normal. Critical is if you got a 20. Okay. Dirty, not dirty 20. Right. Yeah, <laughs> if, it, if it was green in there. Hell yeah. So yeah, you scraped down his face for four <laughs> slashing oh. damage. Fuck <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Great. He's still went down. He's still not down. He's still going. Right. It is his turn. Wait, uh, he's... first, can yeah. he move? Because he should move here so he gets advantage on the next turn. Wait, Wait. what? Yeah, if Demas moves to two spaces south of me. Um, then she was a battle yeah. tactician. Yeah, dude, I am. I'm a, uh, I'm a battle master. Oh, there you so go. I was like, move hey, here! Yeah, yeah Demas, go here! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you run. He runs that way, uh, and I guess he just has his eye on on Demas. Um, he's actually going. He sees both of these strong dudes of Bahamut to the north of him. So he disengages and kind of books it this way. Um, oh, I'm gonna stab him in the back of the head. And yeah. is he taking the disengage action, or are we gonna get ops on him? No, he took a disengage action. Oh, disengage, um, I got you. Okay. Yeah, and I guess that's his fucking turn. What? That's an action as well. He don't want yep. none. All right. Well, yeah, he just kind of runs uh, away a little bit. That's his turn. Harold, what are you up to? I am just going to move up to him. I, uh, since I haven't moved, I guess that's actually 60 feet. So I'll use my feline agility, I guess, if I need to, to double my movement to move there. Are these five foot squares or more? They're, they're technically, I think, 20 foot squares because of how big Ooh. the town is. Yeah, he okay. just dashed, so he moved 60 feet. So I use my feline agility, so I can just double my speed. So I'll just 
catch up to him, and then I will use my action to try to stab him. Okay. I'm a quick kitty boy. <laughs> well, how much mm. don't you have? Oh, you just have this. Okay. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. You chase after this dude with your rapier. You come down and scrape up his back. Harold, tell me what happens yeah. here. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh. as he's running away, like, since I'm just so fast, can I just, like, just fucking sprint down? And as I'm doing it, can I, like, just jump up and, like, just stab him from the back of the, back of the head? <laughs> oh, hell yes. Yeah, and you, like, ride him down as he falls forward onto the ground in the snow. Poof. And then I'll look back and be like, oh, I, f I forgot we were supposed to take him alive. That was so cool, though. That was super worth it, man. <laughs> that was sick. Sick. <laughs> All right, and the the dragon is is making another round around the city. Um, hang on, let's end that so the time goes normally. Uh, yeah, it keeps it's blowing up more buildings. More and more people are screaming. Um, you see another person kind of dragging a body out of a building, but it's already dead, and they're sobbing. I don't know if we can do much else here. Do we want to keep going, or we got We got. We have to keep moving. We have to see if All there's right. other Durga or people we can help. All right, let's keep going. So yeah, you just kind of book it. You just are running around the city, seeing what else is going on. I guess this commoner is still holding onto your arm, Demas, just hanging out with you. Oh my gosh, oh, you have a whole, still here? You have a whole cool, I accidentally grabbed a bunch of tokens. So yeah, they're, they're just coming with you. You got oh, a whole no. posse. Oh, I guess this is fine. Just stay back. <laughs> this is my boyfriend now. No. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. Uh, I guess as, as you're running around the corner, a strange noise draws your attention to an axe beak loaded, loaded down with sacks and tied to a wooden post. The beast lets out a panicked cry as it struggles to free itself. Its owner is nowhere to be seen and just burning buildings are almost falling over on it. It's freaking out. I go over there and I chop that rope off. And I'm gonna take the sacks off its back so it can get away. Okay. Wait, uh, search th oh, sorry. Hang on, let me look at this. Uh, I was gonna just gonna say, search through the sacks, see if there's anything of value that we could use use at the moment. Yeah, yeah maybe. Um, I'd say that the the animal right now is actually freaking out so much that it's yanking uh, all okay. these different ways that it's gonna be hard for you to hit the rope as is. Um, you can you can try to make the attack. I'd say it's probably AC twenty if it's still. <clears throat> All I couldn't like. I, can I can I like get really close to like where it's tied off and just like start like you know like severing? Yeah, what's it the... tied to? Like a post? Yeah, to a post. So can, can I just, just get really close to where it's tied off and just like start severing at like where the knot kind of is? You know, at the base of the post. Is this just rope, right? Um. If the I issue have to will get be close is to him. it's because it's it's yanking around and it's gonna hit you. Um. Yeah, well, give me like a an acrobatics or something to try to like jump around it to get to that spot. I'm gonna try to calm down. Oh man, I tried. Oh, I'm you gonna did. Try to calm down the... You did try to calm it down. It's still you just can't. Just it's not out. listening to you. The fire hey, is just burning hey, in its eyes. Hey. Yeah. Can I make an acrobatics to try to jump at all? Sure. Yeah. Since I'm distracting it, can he have advantage? Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't think. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, hell yeah. Okay, so you yeah, Nencho like does a flip over it and gets back to the area where the where it's tied to the post. Um, Can I still like make noise to distract it? Sure. Yeah. Well, give give me another animal handling then. And Demas, are you doing anything about this? So uh, I don't know. So he's tied to a post, um, like a wooden post. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the, the the building that I, the post is attached to is like burning down and okay. almost top of the water. Uh, I use my, I have a saw as a carpenter tool. Could I use that to try and like saw through the wooden post, maybe? Well, you'd have to get to where Nencho is, but you could throw it to Nencho. Okay. So you whip out your saw and you like yeah. toss it over to Nencho. Um... <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> I... I, I get I get ready to start sawing the the building and I'm like oh wait and I just go at the rope 
Okay. <laughs> okay. And and Harold and Harold is just what do you say to it? You you've calmed it with your twenty or with whatever you rolled. Nineteen, yeah. What what did you do to calm down this animal, this axe beak? Hey, you you're a pretty axe beak. You don't wanna be cooked axe beak, right? Wait, did somebody there. say cooked axe beak? Like I stopped sawing for a second? No 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 later, later, later. <laughs> no, yeah. uh I said raw uncooked uh disgusting you're not helping you're not helping festival. you're not helping <laughs> he says that as you're just like sawing at the rope sawing at the rope and finally it snaps and the axe beak runs off away from the fire free from being harmed now oh man now i'm super hungry why'd you have to say that all right let's keep going <laughs> all right um okay, i gotta real quick i'll be right back yeah no worries um what is this? Oh, we already did that. Um, okay, so you come around a corner and the chaos seems to have brought out the worst in some of the Ten Towners. About 20 mm. feet away, you see two thugs in cold weather clothing beating up an old woman and stealing oh. her food. I am running up and I'm just going to shoulder check one of like, the first, the closest dude. Okay. And then can I, like, very like intimidatingly uh say get out of here this isn't the time <laughs> okay uh so uh harold give me i guess whatever a shove is you do in athletics i think against their athletics or acrobatics i'm looking to see I'm which pretty sure it would better be. yeah yeah you're right they get to choose um okay Ooh, yeah, you got better 18. Yeah, you just ram this dude and just slams him into the ground. He slides like five feet into the snow, leaving a trail. Uh, the other guy's there and looks up at Nencho. Yep, intimidation. Hell yeah. Just I got both uh, of my axes just ready to go. I didn't mean anything. Up. And and like, he just, hey, in times of need, you shouldn't take advantageous necessarily i don't know what i'm trying to say <laughs> Ad advantage of people in fucking need you need to yeah. actually take action yourselves and he <laughs> yeah he he hears this he he's like pissed off that you're stopping this and he lets go of the purse and just runs off behind it or at least tries to runs off behind a building and then i'm gonna yell out be like they need people in what's that what's that place uh, Care, no, no 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 uh Tor, Tor, Targos? Tor, Targos? Yeah, Targos. Isn't it like totally wrecked and like full of villain, like scum, villainous people? Uh, yes. Yes. Actually, yeah. give me an I insight. Or, I don't know. It's a visual thing. You think probably more perception? No. No, it's insight because it's tying into something else. Oh, matter. five. You don't remember anything. Yeah, you yell at them. <laughs> yeah, Targos, you're, you should go to Targos, assholes. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so you've scared off the the or the, I guess the one thug picks up himself up off the ground. And is like, where are you going, oh, fuck? And, and, <laughs> and books it behind another building. Oh shit! They probably haven't learned their lesson. Yeah, pick up the lady and be like, all right, you gotta get out of here, or follow us. I guess I don't know. See, people seem to be doing that. All right. Um. Well, I guess you're just yeah, you're you're done with that. You're looking around the town. I mean, a most it takes another couple minutes and you don't really see anything as drastic as the things that you've run into so far. It's just the dragon. A lot of people are off the streets and have booked it towards the front of town, heading towards Care Denival. Um, and it's just the dragon like 120 feet up just like blasting things. All right, I think do you guys see anything else? I think this is it. It's, it seems I think we've done what we can. Yeah. Should should we preemptively head to a town, or should we wait for the dragon to make its first move? Uh, we should, like, get these people to the edge of the town, send them back to Caradon Ball, and then watch to see where the dragon goes next. I agree, I like yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, um, I mean, what kind of chance do we really have against this dragon? That's... Can I see where the dragon is? Like, the dragon still Not in town? much. It is, yeah. It's still ramp. It's still like circling the outside of town. Oh. It's just, it's okay. coming up now. I think you can probably see it getting closer. And we try to. I'm gonna try to hide. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. try to hide. Everybody, stealth. So. I got disadvantage. Oh, I do too. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I'm a smooth kitty though. Even so with disadvantage, 13, man, I get a plus six. And a ten. Uh, coming right up. And it's well, okay. Um, well, it it done sees you and actually swoops down and just like lands on the ground right uh, in front of you. Oh, oh wait, shit. can you see it? See yeah. It. Well, hang on. I couldn't on the thing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it swoops down. This is it bad. lands right in front of you. It sees you three there. Um, can I take? Is there anything I can take cover behind? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, you can probably dive to try to get behind the. Actually, roll roll into initiative so we know what order. Oh, I can't. You can't. Because there's, there's no there's... combat encounter. There's oh. no combat. Okay, game. here we go. Now there should be one. Wow. Get out of here with your dice, dude. <laughs> Demas? I got a 9.16. Oh, <laughs> um, no worries. It should be under I wasn't, utility. I wasn't paying attention. We're going, okay, initiative. Gotcha. Rolling initiative. Okay, well, I figured out how to customize your dice. Like, guess what? Mine's a different color. Mine's really cool. Like, because I'm kind of like a divine paladin it looks dope like don't count this yeah. roll i just want to roll something so i can see it okay that's so cool if All you go right. to configuration settings there's it's called dice so nice and then yeah you yeah like... uh so i had one for our other setting and i was a turtle so i had like reptilian dice okay that's cool okay oh, yeah. uh nensho you got the best roll what are you doing it looks like everybody goes before it, so you guys can try to dive or whatever. Man. Oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna take a hand axe, and I think I'm gonna throw it at this guy. Okay. Gosh, I don't know. Just so I can do my maneuvering attack to get the, my buddies farther away. Mm. So, what is this? How big is this is this dragon? It's a huge construct. I think like that can never can get away from. Uh, I think we should just run. I don't know. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I got a darkness spell. I'm that... definitely trying to get out of the way. I'm trying to. Not, yeah, I, I I have nothing. Remember we were okay. in here. I have... So this is all I got. Uh, just to just try to get him out of there. I'm going to do my maneuvering attack, um, and then throw a hand axe at him. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, your your hand axe just hits in between a couple of its scales, and it just kind of spurts out some fire from within. And that means you can move someone around? Yeah, I get my superiority dice damage uh, on top of my normal damage. Because it hits him, right? With the 21? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Well, let me apply that. Although, so I get 6 for 12. Oh, it did do it right. Okay. So, yep, another 6. Good. Okay, so you do 12. And then... uh. I guess since uh, Demas is the closest, uh, Demas, get out of there! And you can use your reaction to move half your speed, like wherever. And then I'm also going to try to run away from him. I'm guessing I can't move two squares since they're 20 foot. Uh, I mean, I'll I can round up. It's fine. I can just move two squares on my next one. It's whatever. I mean, I 
I don't want to hinder the battle just because the map is like this. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, you can you can round up and go forty or whatever. All right. And then what? Demis can move too. Is you said? Yeah, Demis can move too. He can move half of his speed, so he probably just move one. Okay, so hang on. Let me get to you so it'll let you move. All right, so move if you want to move, Demis. And then, does that use his movement, or that's just free movement? From it's, his it's his reaction to do that. Oh, okay. So now he has a mm -hmm. fresh turn, just no yep. reaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Demas, what do you do? You're you're booking it away. You did see yeah. the darkness. I don't know if you want to try yeah. that, or if you just want to keep running. Oh, well, I guess if I can keep running and actually get away from him, I would probably rather do that than use his Probably spell. do both, honestly. Yeah, because... I mean, because the dragon won't be able to see, right? Doesn't have dark vision or whatever. Darkness actually goes past dark vision. Unless it yeah. has some type of magical thing that lets it get past, like, ignore it. Or, like, it make it go away. Right. Yeah, true sight. That would be the one thing. If it had true sight, but... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, ooh, or even that thing. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever you want to do, man. Yeah, let you me, could me, you could blast. Uh, well, your options are to run and dash to get twice as far, or do darkness and run, or do a, an action and run, whether it's darkness or not. Yeah. Well, I, let me use darkness. I want to use a spell. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I gotta place that shit. There we go. Hell yeah. I guess I should probably. I guess it'll work. I was gonna it'll say. be able to probably fly out of it on its turn. So as long as it's just con like concealing his vision. Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe doing it a little bit closer to me. Um, but I guess well, it'll... it can fly up too. Like I'm assuming that this dragon's movement is like way. So like we need to try to like do some sneaky stuff right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully. Um, all right, well, let me just give this a shot and see that. This <laughs> measure template, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I still need to... You shouldn't have to target him specifically. The template will target. Although it doesn't do damage, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Cool. All right, cool. So you... you just a big old <laughs> moat of... <laughs> Like, is it 15 foot sphere of darkness just covers his face at a number of feet in front of it it can't see um and then do, do you i have... also move? yeah yeah i also run yeah you can i'll let you move two spaces shit hang on that's actually building another radius Let's... I was trying to grab my guy and move him, but it looks like it's set up another raise or another template. Use uh, WASD. Did you go you to the move your guy too? You may have oh. went to the template tool. Like, make sure to in the top left click the player button, token okay. controls, or a to the select token button, maybe. But where do you want to go? I can move you if it's not working. I was gonna move up two spaces closer to him, Joe. Yeah, right there. All right. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you you run up that way. Where did I put the combat tracker? All right, Harold. What are you doing? Um. So, there are they in cover? It seems like they're in cover. Uh, yeah, I'll say, yeah, they got behind this building. They're out of view. Can I try to make a... Uh, actually, I'm going to make a bunch of noise, and then I'm going to throw my javelin at this thing. Okay. And then, is there a way I can take cover again, or no? Like, just duck after I throw it? Sure. That's fine. Okay, yeah, you throw it, you throw it at this, like, you can see it behind the darkness, and you launch your javelin, it hits. It gets up in its rib cage. Uh, 
Oh, my bad. I have to roll. Oh, damage. sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. All right. Yeah. Um. Give me. Give me an insight. Unfortunately, you're uh, you have an overlay that kind of spoiled it. All the damage flying off of it, it just. Oh, it shows the numbers. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. no. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That's good to know about that. Okay. I was but, like, it's all zeros, so I'm assuming it's immune to piercing damage. Well, no, sorry, it's not all zeros, but it's you notice that it's only hurting it half. It's resistant mm -hmm. to maybe. Well, I'll say with your insight, with probably just standard weapons. So I just want to make uh, a bunch of noise like blah, blah 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 and throw a javelin and then hit the floor and then be like, just yell to Nencho, be like, flank. Okay. Okay. Um, how close do you think you are? I guess, what was your range on throwing that? Um... It's 30 to 120, so if you wanted me to... I'll do it with disadvantage. Well, it depends on how wanna... close you want to be. Do you want to be no, I wanna as close? Be like, no, I want to be further. I want if I've already got its attention, so I will roll another Okay. javelin. Yeah, 20. Danny shut the fuck Oh up. no, <laughs> you asked for it. Holy crap. Well, okay, hang on, let me undo so his normal. original. Yeah, but well, it's still say, just yeah. normal because it was disadvantage, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just freaking out because Dano's like, net 20. I'm like, dude, shut. Shut up, Dano. Oh, yes. Well, that's a little bit more damage, though, so click your critical. I undid the original. No, because he would have had disadvantage from range, right? Oh, because it would have downed anyway. to the other thing. I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other one's actually better anyway, so okay, I'll keep that. All right. <laughs> um, and then Nencho, we're back to you. Why did it only add plus two, though? I guess... I'm going to try to dash and then uh, flank around this house. That's all I really can do. Because the plus yeah. two is your modifier, and that doesn't double, I don't think. <clears throat> I'm sorry, yeah. what did you show? I think I'm going to dash and try to get behind the house and flank, because I wouldn't be able to do anything from where I was. I was, like, right here. So I wouldn't okay. be able to get back into range or... He said flank, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna try. And okay. Around the house. Okay. So you, you, so you're on the way around the house to get to a flanking position. I got it. All yeah, right. Yeah. For sure. All right, Demas. Yeah. So partly, uh, yeah, you want to stay hidden. If it hits you, you'll lose your concentration on that darkness, and it'll go away. Although it can move out of it next time. Oh wait. Uh. I'm about to say, did it not get a turn? Yeah, hang on. Sorry, I missed its turn. That's why I was also, asking. Also, did he focus the darkness on the dragon or like on an area around the dragon? I uh, well, I reread that after uh, Nymora had done that. It has to be an object that's not being worn or something, so it can't oh, be okay. attached to the dragon I got itself. You. Okay, that sucks. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's it's just in it's on its head at the moment and i guess it i mean you're trying to egg it on kind of right Carol? i i am trying yeah i'm trying to get it to go ahead and attack me and i'm trying to like take cover behind okay uh so you know what i'm gonna give it oh okay yeah so it like it jumps through well hang on how could this darkness play a role in this so it seems valid um i don't know i think it might it would have to like come out of it and then make a perception check right maybe it sounds like he was kind well of that's what the perception check was so yeah i, I guess he jumps out of it and gets a 20 check. perception check um and i guess and sees harold you're not you're just kind of ducked you're dove down in the snow kind of yeah i get I, yeah i guess i i was yeah if that's where the cover was i don't know where the cover was uh, so just co it starts coming at you. I'll, I'll give you half cover where you're at, but it starts coming at you. Um, 
and it gets like right behind it. It's like Lord of the Rings, you know, where you're behind the, 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 ring the right. trees and they come up and they're lo he's looking for you and he smells you down there. Um, and I, I guess it just first it claws at the the wood that's up in front of you. Um, I'm targeting. No, here I'll target a commoner just for the sake of the attack. Oh shit, 24. So he just smashes the wood that's right in front of you and he sees you there like on the ground. Do you do, do, you do anything? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him, be like, come at me, abomination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you, so are you prone then? I mean, if that's how you want to write it. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Oh, I guess it. if I took cover, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, if you look. dove down, then. Yeah. Uh, Okay, well then, okay, he comes at you, you, he whips his tail around at you. Ooh, and it just, it hits you in your armor. Bahamut has saved the day again. It's pissed, it roars. Um, and it comes at you with its wings. It just tries to sweep, um, wait, hang on. What's it say about that? Okay, yeah, it's not flying. Yeah, it comes in with its wings and flaps it. Oh no. Okay, well, it doesn't kill you. It's a critical <laughs> hit. It doesn't kill you. <laughs> uh, I was afraid to look at what it, he rolled a, oh wow, that's a crazy modifier. I'm not gonna tell you, but you take 15 bludgeoning damage as its wings just oh. woof, 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 hit you in the side and it just roars again and it turns away from you, just looking around. Um, but we're skip we're moving on. Nensha, what are you doing? All right, I see this and I'm like, all right, I can't, can't let my buddy. So I'm gonna try to flank him. Would I get flanking for being right here? Sure. All right. Get off of him, beast! And then I'm just gonna go, we're gonna go ham. Uh, or I guess. I could get right there, so or no, whatever. Um, targeting. Okay, first attack. Twenty-five hitter. Twenty-five hits. Hell yeah. All right. Heck yes. And you do some slashing damage. You chip off some of the chartle, and it falls to the ground. You come in again, another attack. It also hits. You're just chipping away, chartling with every swing. All right. Uh, did did Harold take damage right there? Oh yeah, you got crit. Mm -hmm. It's I'm I'm good. It's I'm not too bad. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna use my bonus attack to or bonus action to swing. All right. All right, this one is no modifier. Okay. Uh, a one! one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, one is half two. One. Uh, I think you get one no matter what. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, you're beating it up a little bit. And that's your turn, right? Yep, that's all I got. All right. My buddy Harold get slammed. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to move you here. I don't know if that was how much was space you had, but just for the sake of just, you being that sure. close. And, yeah. That's fine. Uh, Demas, so you're around the edge of this building. You saw Nincho run around. You're focusing on this darkness, but it's moved through it. What are you doing? Yeah, at this point, the darkness spell is kind of useless, so I guess I would disengage myself from that. Well, you don't... Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Drop your concentration. Yeah. Yeah. So do I need to do anything? For no, that? I'll just delete the thing. Okay. Uh, maybe. What? Okay. Well, I don't know. It should it should matter unless you cast another concentration spell anyway. So yeah, it doesn't matter. I was thinking about doing some poison spray. Do it. Let's do it. Is it okay to roll now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to. I get this dragon here, and oh well, wait, hang on. How poison poison spray? That's what you're trying. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if targeting him or not, though. 
Uh, Maybe it is. Alt click. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you'll have to move down to get into range, but yeah, that's cool. All right. You're all kind of teamed up on him. Yeah, let's give this a shot here. I'll spray some poison at this guy. Constitution saving throw. Uh, cl oh, sorry. Click the damage, and then it will ask me for it. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Constitution saving throw of 13 has to beat a what? Oh, he succeeds. I think he had to beat a 12. What's your... 10 for you. So, yeah, he saves, and it unfortunately does not hit him. Uh, Shoot! You just spray some poison on it, and it just drips off. Okay, um, I guess you're just standing there now. Do you, I guess you don't have anything else, do you? Yeah, it's like word I like to do. Um, no, it's just, I was going to um, stay here and help out Nencho try and uh, get this guy okay. down me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, Harold, so you are in a flanking position, uh, I think if you stand up, but yeah. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Um, Harold. Um, maybe I can target you and do this. Oh, maybe it... Okay. Um, you just, you just feel your mind, it just, like, the, the area around this thing is surging into your brain. The chartalin seems to be affecting you. Uh, and you almost go crazy, but you, you fight it and you stay focused. Hmm. All right. Uh, and then, sorry, go ahead. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. It's, oh, okay. You started your turn, and that happened. Oh, I got you. Well, I'm going to tell Nencho and Demas to back up from the Chartalin Dragon, because I remember Savaran going crazy, having the chunk mm. on his person. Yeah. Uh, Attacking at a distance. And then, so there's a house next to me. Can I try to get in this house? Is it is it not on fire? Is it? No, like it's yeah, it's fine. It's probably yeah. There's probably a couple of windows. You can maybe dive into. You're probably on the front porch, behind right. one of the lips of the porch. So you can like dive in a window or get to the door or something. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna um, try. To, I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, give me like an acrobatics. All right, cool. We'll we'll, we'll say yeah. You just jump in through the window. <laughs> And you roll on the floor, and you just see like a family huddled up together, just like. Well, they're not a family, so there's not family. It's just uh, two guy, two old guys with like mugs of ale who are drinking it, and they're scared. <laughs> but they're like tucked up, like in the fireplace that's not lit. Can I like most like gesture them to like you know stay to the floor, and then like like tip back a beer, be like, <laughs> and then give them a thumbs up. Nice. They're like, their faces are so distraught, but like they give you the thumbs up and take another sip. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, so, it, yeah, it, Harold has jumped in the window there and he turns around uh, and he, I guess he, it goes to claw at Nensho and it, it steps, it steps forward towards Demis and also claws at Demis. Did it miss Wait. me? Oh, you know what? It deleted the fucking shit. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to roll again towards you. So it, it claws and just scrapes across Demis's belly. Well, it didn't. It, it, I don't think it deleted it because it gave me an option. So I'm, assu I'm assuming it missed to give me my option to something. Whenever something misses me with an attack, I can repost. So let's see. Oh. Does that make it pop back up? Is it back up for you now? No. Well, it's just if I if I do an attack and then I do another one, it deletes all the buttons and extra information on my end. I so, see. I see. Uh, I guess if we if neither of us know what it rolled, I'm just gonna roll a fresh one for you. I mean, is that okay? No, that's yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Claw attack. Hopefully, it's not good. Oh, it's asking you for your reaction. Okay, so you yeah. can decide whether. Okay, I yeah, it probably just never went through. You're right. Okay, that's yeah. Okay, so the first the first one, uh, can we just go off of that one so it doesn't actually use my other thing. 
Oh, yeah, did so it, it used one of your abilities? Yeah, sorry. All right, no, it's cool. Um, it's just right, a matter of you gonna... adding one back. Target him, and then we're gonna attack. No, it didn't use it. Okay. Ooh, is that a hit? That's a hit. Oh, and eight Ooh. on his priority. Fuck yeah. So a uh, fourteen altogether. So. Okay, so not a bad one. Twenty, and then another. Here, we gotta do this. All right, um, great, and then Nencho, your turn starts, but you're gonna have to do this because you two are getting this feeling of malevolence surging out of this thing, but you, you also fight it and you take your mind back over. Yeah, I... Uh... I don't have any ranged options. <laughs> <laughs> Guide my strikes, Bahamut. And then, yeah. Uh, can I? Can I get flanking if I move here? Yeah. All right. Hello, Demas. You're down to what? Two HP right now. Shoot. I'm not looking good. Uh, Twenty is good. Twenty is good. Hell yeah. You get oh, it behind Demis this dragon. Hurt. Get it right in the butthole. Yeah, not very good damage. We'll do another one. 17 is that probably just hits. Not yeah, that Ooh. just about hits. All right, and then for my bonus action, I'm gonna uh, use my rally on Demas. Oh, okay. It's okay, friend. Hold in there, and then I get to heal him for. I want to target Demon's students. Okay. Or 6 HP. Or you get 6... Is it temporary HP? Yeah, it's temporary HP. Oh, it's yeah, temp HP. Better. Okay, hang yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Let me add Just, it. like, bolstering your uh, your spirits, basically. <laughs> Thank you, man. I needed that. Alright. Uh, and then Demas. Yeah, so... Um, one of my spells is fear. Um, so... This uh, apparently projects um, creatures' worst fears. Ooh, uh, yeah. So I was thinking that may help in some way. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, Worth the shot. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and cast it at that motherfucker. It looks like he's still selected, so let me go ahead and give that a shot. Oh, yeah. Fear. Oh, God. Place oh, you gotta time. put down where it is. And you know, what do you think? I don't know what this is scared of, but whatever you say is what it is. So what? what is it you create that he's scared of? Oh, shit. Um, what was Now, scared? the spell says each creature. Does that, does that mean me too? Um, well, it's a cone, so he might be able to move and not hit you. True, it is a cone shape. Um, each creature in a 30 foot cone. He moves here. Yeah. So if you want to move to the I'm side so that scared, you're not okay? aimed directly at Nencho. Do, uh. Like move die. Well, I don't know. Move it die? Or. No, just move well, yourself. Move your body. Somewhere oh, so that the blast aims a, a different direction than okay, down at Nensha. I'm trying to get rid. I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. All right. If I move over here. Okay. Yeah, that works. Uh, Although, well, okay, hang if on. He, if he originates it from here, it won't hit me. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so hang on. Uh, hang on. Let's redo this. So one is if you go that far, I think you're gonna take a opportunity attack. It it does here. Hang on. Let's Ooh. yeah. You'll, we'll say you're there, and just re redo it and aim it at the thing. And you can use your scroll wheel to turn it. Oh. 
Why okay. sitting in the place? I have this big old dialogue box over everything. Um, yeah. Okay. Hang on. I'm just I'm just gonna do it uh, so that it hits. Hang on. It's not gonna consume spell slot. Gonna turn it. So it hits and targets him, blah, and then he has to do a wisdom save, which he fails with a seven. So yeah, what um, is it that you create? His mom, like he sees him. <laughs> his, okay, well, okay. So yeah, yeah, you focus on the idea of whatever this thing's mom is, and I guess you see this like tall Durgar with a big old burly white beard and this, uh, this, uh, crown made of chartolin that it seemed like it had like nine notches in but they've all been broken off except for two of them uh, and it sees it and it's just like oh and it just it books it away from you and it just I guess it just fl it actually just takes off it flies up in the air and just gets out of town and just starts Do flying that? to the west <clears throat> do, do we see this too? Yeah, or, it was great. Or is it just... Oh, uh, well you you can probably see it, yeah, but you're just not scared of it. <laughs> What's happening? All right, I'll take it. I'll so take it's it. A phantasmal image, so I guess that's, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> that That is kind of scary. <laughs> oh my god. That must okay. be what the king would like. Do, I, do we do it? Do we, we did it, right? You've think, defended this town. I think we did it, guys. I'm so, I'm so badly wounded. I'm starving. Yeah, I know you I just need something made it. to eat. Where's that? Can you catch some fish with your fishing pole? Like soon. I'm so hungry. We'll we'll try to find food, but no, not not try. Where's that? Where's that axe beak? I'm gonna go. Like I'm just gonna that like drag my axes behind me like slowly, just like looking in a daze. I'm gonna give Dano a bunch of my biscuits that I have. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll I'll hold myself over on the biscuits. <laughs> that's not nearly enough, but okay. No, it's just oh, okay. You're a hungry fellow. Hell yeah. And just to like reiterate, Nencho is so skinny. Like he's very like loose. Like he's muscular, but like like does not have a lot of meat on his bones at all. Yeah, I need like, like at least. Do you have like a thousand more of those crackers? Well, no, but okay. I can give you definitely another handful. That's acceptable. That's that's okay. I'll munch down on those too. We'll find food. Oh, all right. Um, I mean, I'm pretty ex expensive here. Yeah. <sighs> I look around, are there still people, like, uh, are, are the people still following us? And then, like, is there anyone else that's in Prob duress? Prob well, the woman, the woman that is, like, who loves Demas is just, like, <laughs> beside herself. He's so bloody. She's, like, a couple feet away. Most of the other people that were with her have kind of run off, so the town is kind of filtering out. There's not a lot of people left. Although, you know what, uh, there is a, a dragon, another dragonborn, like, kind of saunters up, and it's just, like, it's hard for him to walk. He's just kind of wobbly. Uh, where are we? Is he, like, a big guy? He's... Oh, no. Hell, wait, we talked, right? It's a little garbly. We've spoken before, correct, Harold? What? Have we have we met? I I don't believe so. I thought we did. Maybe not. I'm gonna, Maybe I've just heard stories about you. But I'm a bow, you know, bow to this dragonborn. He I, he bows. He bows back, but like tumbles into the snow and has to pick himself up. And as he tumbles, Can I help him like up? A, yeah, 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 a bottle falls falls out of his pocket. You drunk? <laughs> yes, that's all there is to do up here. Fuck, they destroyed well, the tavern. I mean, it does seem pretty dire here, so. Thank God I you were here. Well, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> we're trying to tell people to gather at Care Denivar. 
of what's in there is did did they survive? What's going on out there? Did who survive? Anyone. Anyone at all. And care is Care Dinavo okay? Um, it's also been hit, but there <sighs> are survivors. You survived? The keep is still good in Care Denival. We've been we've been telling people to go there and try and evacuate the town. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> thank the gods. <laughs> I guess hey, the bomb it. Yeah. And he goes. He goes for a high five. He holds his hand up. Oh, oh wait, wait, no, look, no, wait. Can I try? Oh, I absolutely. Try. Yeah, yeah. Let me try. I go oh. forward. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. This course. is. I just learned about this. This is pretty cool. And then. uh... <laughs> <laughs> I whiff, I whiff completely, or maybe do I not? He's like drunk, right? Yeah. I just way too hard. Like, do you know, just full force. I don't get it yet. Just way too hard. Ah! <laughs> oh, gosh! Oh my God! I'm oh, not oh, the dragon. Oh, a little too much. A little too, okay. Too much catch. I thought I thought you had to go so hard to make that cool of a noise. You know what I mean? Well, it, it's more like precision. You know, like. Sometimes oh. it's not all about having the strength. Sometimes oh yeah, so just hitting. like bullseye. I get it. I'll, I'll get it one of these days. This is super cool. I have to figure this out. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> what happened to my town? It killed the Sherrod sisters. The, the Northern Light is demolished. Oh, what am I gonna do? Um. um well, uh, I guess. I care Din Vault's Ford is still open. We can That's try to rebuild something. And, and and can you help this poor woman that's following me around, please? <laughs> Take her. Come on, come on, ma'am. Come on. We we gotta go. Not your nice type Demus. Noted. Very noted. She's kind of clingy. He, what did this yeah, lady look like? He has to kind of tug on her for a while. <laughs> uh, she's balding. And she, she's got, like, a weird shoulder problem, uh, so she can't s stand straight. But she's hot. <laughs> Damn, like, like physically, it. like, she's got a temperature? Yeah, she's <laughs> heating up. Like, she's pr partly on fire from mm. the, the beam. You, you might want to get yourself tested. There, you might have a disease or something. <laughs> Come on, ma'am. We're going to get you tested and cared in of all. But I, but I want to be with the Demus. <laughs> oh, she knows your name, bro. That's bad. Oh, he that's saved so bad. my life. <laughs> His name's Sheep Sheemus. Just doing what I just doing what I uh, can, man. And yeah, my name is Seamus. Seamus. Okay. <laughs> so somebody roll a deception with advantage because the other one's helping. All right, I'm on it. <laughs> Stop. There it is. Seamouse! Oh, Seamouse! Oh, I'm sorry I misheard. I will remember you always. I'll be <laughs> back for you. I will come find you. That's he, he, he lives in uh, Norwood. Deep, deep water. Norwood, <laughs> deep water? Where is that? It's yeah. just. Uh, it's just like somewhere on the Sword out. Coast. You'll find it. You'll find it's it. Just down south on the Storm Coast. Oh, well, that'd be, until this winter's cleared up, no one's getting past the spine of the world. So, I guess well, you're not getting out either, so I'm going to come find you somewhere, wherever oh. you're at. Oh, no. As soon as my <laughs> Propecia kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. All right, see, miss. Come here. She it tries to kiss you. Well, I like click that button. Uh, she tries to yeah, kiss you. That was him. appropriate. She tries to kiss <laughs> you. <laughs> Trovis is just seeing it and kind of announcing it drunkenly. Oh, she's trying to kiss him. Uh, did you let her kiss her, you? Or are you like pulling back? Oh, I, try, to... I try and pull back away. Okay. So do you roll something for that? <laughs> uh, yeah, roll just a dexterity save to try to pull away. Okay, well, I, I'll give her one. Hang on, what is she? She's gonna do a... 
Um, animal handling. I know, yeah, let's give her an animal handling now. It's funny. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she like she almost makes contact. She got a twelve, and you got a thirteen, and so you just pull back in time. She doesn't kiss you. I'll get you out of these days. <laughs> and and oh, Trovis is adorable. pulling her away. Has she's to yank adorable. on her arm. So, Demas, like apart from you know the the stock, we're pretty good wingman, right? Like that went out really well. We almost got you one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So. She wasn't exactly my type, but uh, maybe in the next town. Well, all right. M maybe not. I think we not, make a pretty no good team. Uh, you know, Got like, it. all said and done, like, we kind of kicked ass. You scared, well, you scared that dragon away. I was not expecting that. I will totally admit. I kind of thought. I, I thought, thought we were either, done. No, I, I mean, that was one option or, like, I was probably going to be super heroic and, like, beat it probably, I think, maybe. But. I like uh, your. Optimism. Yeah, yeah, man. What? <clears throat> Bahamut is on my side. I got anything. I'm going to put my axes on my back. Uh, Absolutely. Oh, man. Well, Did, uh, um, uh, can I see the dragon like in the skyline, like flying away? What directions it's going? Or did we see what yes. way? It, we, like, we saw it fly off, but... Yeah, it, it flew out of town and it headed uh, west. Kind of northish west. In front so it, like, of uh, the care, uh, what is it? Kelvin's Cairn, the the big yeah, mountain up there. So yeah, it's heading towards figure. maybe Lonelywood, Tourmaline is that way. One of those two. <sighs> oh, I, don't, I, I don't think I we do can need, do too much else here. I do need a rest. Yeah, me too. I need some food. Yeah, if we rest, do I heal? Yeah. Yeah, long rest. Short rest you can, you expend die. I think it's time that, like, we need to go back to Care Denim, maybe, and go to sleep. Care see Denim if people are okay. See how many people yeah. are there, yeah. Okay. I'm down. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's so, uh, Harold's in, still inside that house and probably looking out the front window talking to you guys, and those two guys who are drinking just come up beside you and, and go to <laughs> hand you an ale that they've got. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna yeah. get it and Hail. I'm gonna yeah, ale, yeah. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna try to toss it. To, I'm gonna try to toss it to <laughs> Mencho? To, uh, to me? Mencho. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to grab that. You gotta toss the yeah. cup of ale. Okay, Look, it's, it's oh. all about the throw. You gotta go with it a little. Oh, oh my god! You, just, you... you actually don't even <laughs> let go of the cup, and you just dump it, just it all over. Just get caught in my him. claws. <laughs> just like the wood gets caught in my claws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, was, I, I just turned back I'm, to them like, uh. Who was that? Sorry. What are you I, doing? I, I I need a nail trim. Oh, uh, that was embarrassing. I, I'm uh, sorry. All right. Oh man, was that what was that for me? Why? Um, uh, it, yes, it it was. Hey man, I um, wouldn't have given it to you if you're just gonna waste it. Well, I didn't mean. Uh, I really need to get my nails trimmed. Yeah, man. It's a, it's okay, buddy. Uh, you need, it's okay. I know. You need lady. some help with that? I got some chompers. I can chew those off, no um, problem. I, oh. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm just gonna start clawing at the cup. I got a saw I can use. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. So yeah, what, what are you doing? Yeah, I was going back to Care Denim Vault. Okay. Care Denival. Yeah. Her heading back to Care Denival. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick though. Denim vault. Denim yeah, for sure. Vault. Cool. Everyone wears very nice pants there. How long does his steed last? Can you guys ride the buffalo back, or are you? Let me double check. Let's Is that the place we started off at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Um, flip through here. Find. Steel. I think it just lasts. No, yeah, it just lasts. Ten minutes it, until it dies. It ca ten minutes is the casting time. I'm pretty oh, sure it just lasts until okay. it dies. Oh, nice. Yeah, it does just last. Perfect. Okay, so yeah. you guys all climb on the celestial buffalo, and you head back to Care Dinaval. It's another hour. To get there, you arrive at about 8.30 p.m. 
Um, the, the town is kind of somber. You see some people heading back and forth between the, the bar, bringing things from the bar into uh, the, the keep. Oh, I hope they have food there. I think I'm going to fall out. Yeah, I want a giant turkey leg. <laughs> I don't know if we'll find that. but <laughs> Well, I'm you sure know, I didn't food. plan for you to go back in there, so I haven't made that map on here, but no worries. So you guys head into the, the care, uh, and all the blood and guts that you left there is still kind of all over, but none of the cultists seem to be there anymore. Um... And it's just filled with all the townspeople. Um, what happened all over here, man? I oh. think the dragon attacked. Inside? Oh, wait. I thought he just meant like... No, this oh, is the think... aftermath of Savaran, essentially. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, and you guys, but yeah. Um, Very big misunderstanding. Uh, friends with the Barbarian. I think it's pretty... Pretty rational up with within itself. Yeah, I, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, oh man, maybe we can like talk about it over food. Uh, I think someone said something about my blood sugar being low. I think that might be it. I don't know. I'm feeling boozy. Oh. Alright. I don't know what blood sugar is. For <laughs> Yeah, okay, so yeah, you guys kind of look through the place, uh, and you... Oh, these are labeled by number instead of what the actual room is. Uh, but you end up finding a kitchen, and there's a there's a guy in there who... Maybe I'll find it. Well, it don't matter. Let me just go back to... Uh, what's I, I told you guys I'm making fish. Oh no, I didn't tell you. Who? Oh no, you. Oh, you were the ones who saved the town. Oh, thank the lords. I mean, uh, oh, that's a Bob. Praise Bahamut. Praise be. Whoever, man. Uh, you guys got food? I, I was making some trout, some knucklehead trout. I know a hundred ways to make knucklehead trout. I'll tell you what, I cook it up. What do you like, want? Like, like that Ned show? I've only eaten about like 63 ways to have knuckle trout, so I'm pretty curious that you have a few more. Like, oh, I, yeah. I'm pretty experienced col col culinary, is that the... Yeah. I'm so hungry, I, I just need some food. Is it raw? I'll eat that, I don't care. <laughs> Oh man, for you guys, you can have your first pick on anything in the kitchen. You want the raw fish? Here. Here's some cooked fish. Uh, there's some soup. Uh, is, it, like, is there like a pot of soup? Yeah, right over here, buddy. I, you want the like, whole thing? I pick up the whole pot. I pick up the whole pot and start drinking out of it. <laughs> okay. Kevin, what happens no. to that, to the cauldron? Do you remember where that is? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's locked up that... in the armory somewhere, right? Yeah, with that lady, uh, that guard lady who we were working with. <laughs> you remember? She was like, uh, man, I don't remember where that was. But yeah, we were like trying to like capture people and put them in jail and stuff. Oh, I think it's After East Haven. Yeah. Yeah, East Haven. And like the, okay. the lady of the guard was like working with us. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to message you, Alex. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, he kind of motions to this, this small little pot of soup that he's making, and he, he lets Nencho go to town on it. He actually holds out a big old wooden spoon. No, oh, yeah, I drink. I, I just pick up the whole pot and start drinking up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I was very hot. Oh, That's, shit. That's <laughs> right off the burner, <gasps> man. Whoa. <laughs> You must be hungry. I've never seen someone go to town on something like that. And well, I grabbed the fish. I grabbed the raw fish and the regular fish that he was both offering me, and I start eating them both, like kind of simultaneously. I'm oh, like God. peek behind Nencho and be like, um, he can have my portions. Uh, he already ate them. What? Oh gosh. What? No, no. This is. Oh, oh shoot. I'm sorry. I just. I get so hungry. I can't help myself sometimes. 
It's <laughs> okay. Just, like, it must take a lot of out of you to fight like you do. Hmm. do you yeah, know that's you probably mean? it. <laughs> well, Is if there's anything else I can do for you guys, uh, I we owe you everything. I think I just uh, I'm say I'm good for now. Uh, I would like to eat some more, but I don't want to take anyone else's portions. I know it's uh, kind of rough around here, and then with everything that just happened. Uh, uh sorry. What did you say? He was. I was reading Kevin's message. Oh, oh, I was just saying, like, oh, I am still hungry, but if, uh, you know, I don't want to take anyone else's portion, so, uh, maybe just some place where we can rest and, uh, recuperate after the fight. Sure, sure, sure. Let's, uh, let's give you guys the main room. We found this nice room, or, well, I've always been here. Uh, Kadroth had this nice room with a big old mirror and a burning fireplace that would be perfect for you guys. Let's, let's show you up to the room. And he, I guess he motions for, for somebody to, to come and show you up to the nice room. And they take you up to the second floor uh, and then kind of leave you alone in this room. Big mirror on the back wall. Otherwise, it's somewhat empty. We have to... Ooh. All right. You know, like All I right. start like pulling out some of my stuff. I pull out a whole ration out of my bag and start eating the ration, too. I'm gonna toss him an extra ration that I have. Oh, what? You got some more? Sweet, man. Uh, I, I mean, I'm stocked not... up kind of right now, but <laughs> I just have a, you know, ample amount. Nothing crazy. Oh no, no, this is fine. And I'll eat his ration too. I, I'm trying to stop myself, but after that fight, I don't know. No, yeah, I eat both of those rations also. I don't. I don't <laughs> eat much. <laughs> now I'm just like wiping blood off my face and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're just trying to clean yourself off. Yeah. Uh, there is there is probably a bathtub in this room. I, are you just yeah. hopping in? Are you just what are you? Yeah, doing? I'm like, I'm like, guys, I'm gonna be taking a bath. Are we like all in the same room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, That's I'm fine, like, man. I'm like, guys, I gotta take a bath. So no, uh, you're, you're this is good. Uh, yeah, get get that old lady off of you, bro. Yeah, I start like taking off all my. I, I guess I'm wearing like a giant like coat type thing so i take that off yeah and i have like a onesie thing under that and i take that <laughs> off okay with the butt flap <laughs> but i'm not wearing like any underwear or anything so i just get in the bathtub okay. and I, I soak myself my beard just kind of like laying on the top you know <laughs> nice. i'm snoring my dick off the water <laughs> all spills sleep. over the edge as you climb because <laughs> yeah. you're so big the bathtub's tiny. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, exactly. What did you say, Harold? I'm snoring, like, through this entire process. Like, as soon as I, like, found somewhere to, like, lay down, I just lay down and just, like, fell asleep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so he, he fell asleep in the bed. I take the time to, like, take off my armor and set up a bedroll, like, in the corner of the room and just pass out. Okay. Well, also, yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. And you guys, yeah, you find, like, you take a bath, Demas... Harold's already asleep. Nencho takes off his armor before he goes to sleep. You're just sleeping in your armor, yeah, Harold. You just yeah, passed like out I like I just yeah, I just like crawled into the bed. Hell yeah. like, <laughs> I needed it a little bit, you know, to find oh, it. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. All right, fuck yeah. Okay, well yeah, I guess everyone click to do your long rest. That'll be that's in the utility menu. Demas and Harold. All right, so that's a long rest. That's eight hours. All right. Um, I mean, that's eight hours. If you wake up at the end of eight hours, it's four a.m. But four forty-two a.m. We and can you're like there, take... Dinaval. What is your yeah. plan? Uh. You said it's 4.30 in the morning when we wake up? Yep. Wake up. Need another ration. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what the plan is. Yeah, I don't know what's... I just, I just need some coffee. <laughs> Whatever the equivalent of that is. 
Um, Alex, is there someone we might or know, like a wizard or something that might have some knowledge, like in a town or something that we should travel to? Uh, knowledge of what? Like, like someone who could assist us with a dragon. We could at least go to the other towns and try to see what happened there, because we know, yeah. like, basically all the towns along the way got attacked. Mm-hmm. Maybe we go to a town to see if anyone's still alive or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. We can go to East Haven. Yeah, yeah East, they got attacked, right? They did get attacked. Yeah. So you could he- you want to yeah. head down to East Haven? <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty close. Okay. So you can get there in about four and a half hours on your buffalo. Three guys on a buffalo. Are there... Is that axe beak still around? (laughs) That was in... uh... Yeah, sure. Or, well, no. I guess technically we said that... Oh, yeah, we left already. That's right. We said that Savaran took it. But uh, axe beak is a common way to travel. So I'm sure you could find another one. Something to accelerate the travel. Oh, well, I figured your buffalo. It's nine hours walking, and it's if you're on a oh, mount, it's it. halved. Well, we'd probably, like, uh, Demas probably is, like, sitting in the cart. You're riding the buffalo, and I can ride an XB. I'll name him lunch. Oh. Ready for lunch, sir. Yeah, you guys, I guess you guys are kind of traveling along the edge of Lac Dennis here. And you guys make it to the, the crossing point where uh, the road hits the east way and you head you head uh, east towards East Haven. And you land and it is decimated. Nobody is here anymore. And it's, mm-hmm. it's almost completely destroyed. It's all burning. The embers are just rising into the sky. Big plume like, of smoke. No even looters or anything? Mm. No, not I'm at just, this point. Yeah, no. I... <laughs> all right, guys. That means that we're first here. Let's get to looting. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Uh, I like to just kneel and start saying a prayer. For okay, these lost souls. Yeah, and I'll like go. I'll like put a hand on his shoulder and like I'll uh, join him. I mean, I put his, my hand on his other shoulder. Aw, team prayer. All right, so yeah, I guess you're just in East Haven, and you're just praying for the lost souls. You just see bodies almost everywhere. Almost all the buildings are just decimated, oh. destroyed. No, no signs of life. No nothing. Mm mm. All right. I mean, I guess you see a bunch of footprints. I mean, the road you came in on was full of footprints and ragged. So, so whoever made it out has already left. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, it I, doesn't look like there's much here. Very uh, grim scene, but I don't think there's much here for us. What was the place to the west? Did they get hit? To the to it's still dark out, but in two hours you'll be able to see the distance to see if there's smoke coming from additional yeah. towns. I was gonna say I got a message that said my token didn't have vision in this area. It's okay. There's nothing here. Yeah, I don't think. Hang on. I mean, tech. Yeah, there's. Hang on. I just don't think I plopped you guys out. There you go. Oh, there there you can go. technically see. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Haven. There's nothing there. It's just you're in the big old town. Was Haven. real big, man, and it's all gone. Mm-hmm. It took a while, but Jeez. it happened probably while that you were traveling from from uh, the well, not you two, but Harold was traveling from the mm-hmm. fortress. So what's well, the plan? I mean, you yeah, you can try to loot through stuff here, or you can head out. the The dragon's probably doing something somewhere else. I think we should focus our attention elsewhere. Maybe we uh, find out where that dragon's going. We have a little bit before two hours before the sun comes up. Hmm. Uh, If I would have known this was such a fruitless endeavor, I wouldn't even suggest it coming here. Now I feel like we're even further behind. You're just worried about people, Nencho. It's okay. (sighs) Yeah. 
All right. Can we, uh, I guess we'll... Well, it was last seen flying toward Kelvin's Cairn. Means maybe Terrytown? Is that what it is, or... Hmm? I don't have... I can only see, oh, like, yeah. the little bits on the map. Uh, either... Yeah. It's either Tourmaline or Lonelywood is that direction. Maybe we go up there, see if that's been hit yet. Just preemptively start heading that way. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm Tourmaline. So the the road, if you want to follow the roads, it'll be quicker, but it goes through Bryn Shander, around through Targos, and then back around through Tourmaline. It'll probably take a while, or you can go directly through the tundra to go to Tourmaline. It's up to you guys. I'm, uh, I, mean, I think, I mean, if we go take the road, then we'll pass by towns and see how they're doing. That's true. Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I guess. so yeah, I mean, and Bryn Chander's the big town, and if anyone has fleed, they're probably staying there with their huge walls. Not that that helps against this <clears throat> dragon, but still. Okay, so yeah, you head out from East Haven. Wait. And you head towards Bryn Chander. And that is... Well, French Hander's the big town. Maybe we can go to the guard or somebody, see if they have... Oh, yeah, maybe we can get knowledge from someone there. Or, or if they don't know, let people know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they probably don't know. I mean, unless people... Have, I, I bet you refugees have gotten here already. Yeah. If the town isn't already just destroyed. Yeah. Okay, French Hander. Um, so as you're on the road, the sun starts to come up and you can start to see the the distance. Um, let me double check what time it is with my spreadsheet here. It's 11. But you did it early, so that's at 9.30. Actually, let me cut the <coughs> power off of this. Hang Bless on you. one sec. On. Okay, uh, so yeah, as you're heading towards Bryn Chander, you can see to the north where Tourmaline and Lonelywood sit. It looks like Tourmaline is billowing with smoke. That has been hit already, um, but you don't see another another pillar. So it's only one of those towns so far. Uh, and then you make it to Bryn Chander, and it's like hectic. There's people running around. Uh, people from East Haven are, are there. Um... Some people from Care Dinaval are there. There's a few people from Good Mead. Um, hmm. and it, Can I? It's, yeah, just, yeah, go ahead. Uh, do would I know where like the guard, like the local? Because you said this is like a fortified location, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the biggest the same city, thing, man. Biggest walls. Make a, yeah. Like if everybody's here, maybe we make a stand against the dragon here. Well, I think we should uh, go tell the the captain of the guard and we know that it's going up north maybe we can meet it off somewhere and like mm -hmm. stop it from like fighting another town mm -hmm. if this is like the most well defended and well uh try to stop armed. it and even yeah. if it gets here then they're defended they could try to take it down too so yeah. i guess let's go to like the lead fortress or like the place where the captain of the guard might be or uh okay so you, uh, yeah i guess you guys probably head like towards the town hall where a lot of people are uh, outside it's loading in. Um, and I guess you see a number of people that you've you've seen before. Um, on the way in. Um, ne uh, Harold and Demas roll a perception. Uh, I, I got a will. will. Oh yeah, you don't have a token to click right now, I guess. Or hit C, and you can roll it from your character sheet. That's why I have my D and D Beyond sheet up. It still rolls. <clears throat> oh yeah, if you want to do that, that's cool too. I might be up now. No, not yet. Oh no! What happened? Why is that the wrong size? Whose was that? Me. 
Harold. I'm sorry, where's it at under the perception or where's it at on the sheet? Um it's under skills? attributes, I think. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> A nine. Okay. Uh well you don't necessarily notice anything. Um Um, okay, and you guys make it to the front of the town hall. I bet none of these tokens have pictures. Yep, awesome. Um, so <laughs> you you guys pass. Um, We're guess, in a graveyard. Yeah, <laughs> no, they're alive. These people. Um, <laughs> you're, I mean, you're heading into the town hall, and outside you see a bunch of tribal warriors and militia people, um, and you actually see the militia captain from East Haven standing with the speaker of East Haven. This is Danith Whalen and Imdra Argalath. Um, oh, you guys. Thank you. Oh. I don't know what to say. What is going on? Is it dead? Where is it? It looks like, oh, sh it looks like it's in the north. Uh, what can we do? Do you have ideas? You were able to stop it in the other towns. Someone said you created a phantasmal Durgar? Uh, that's right. All we did was divert it. We didn't really stop it. I was able to do a little bit of damage, but my axes are, like, that crystal stuff is so hard. It's hard to get a good strike on it. Yeah, we didn't wound him too much, but he's still out there. That damn Chardolin. And... Mm, I... I knew that you were strong, Harold. But this is impressive. I... I regret losing contact with you. It's okay, I'm just happy to hear you're okay. I saw East Haven was destroyed. Yes, yes. Uh, fortunately, we were able to haul that cauldron back out, and we're feeding people with it. Um, mm. A lot of mm. hungry people here. I know they've traveled oh. away from their homes. That, that'll be good for Nencho eventually, but <laughs> what? maybe we could use a... So there's this cauldron, I guess, if you put something in it, it just keeps spewing out whatever's in it. Yeah, don't tell Nencho about that. I know, <laughs> but maybe we could put something in it and trap the Shardolin dragon like Dano, like a never-ending bucket of lava from Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> and just dump it on what, the fucking dragon. Well, we know <clears throat> we know what direction it's going. It was last seen by uh, Kelvin's uh, isn't that what it's called? Kelvin's Cairn. Cairn. Yeah, yeah, Kelvin's Cairn. Cairn. It was, well, it was, pass, yeah. it was heading that way. It was passing the mountain. I guess if you saw Tourmaline was burning, then you know it passed Kelvin's Cairn and has hit Tourmaline. Mm -hmm. Well, we know it's to the north to Tourmaline. We've seen the plumes and smoke. We, perhaps we could head it off. If it seems like everyone's meeting here, we could either head it off or fight it here. We have to do something. We do have to do something. But, well, maybe we should send... I can't... Look, we, uh, me and Markham have been trying to decide whether we should, like you say, s build everyone up here and take a last stand, but that's saying that's just giving up on the other towns, and that feels horrible. Or we, we try to send men out and, and try to get it before it gets every town. Is there anyone able to no? Hmm? Is there anyone you can send out to to, to scout and bring back news of where he's at? Well, and Nerth said that he'd be happy to, to send a few of his men out and kind of investigate. He's, I mean, T Targos hasn't been hit, but he's here because he heard stuff was going down. He wanted to well, help, he says. Perhaps we could be part of that scouting party. And... Yes, I don't think... I don't think Samir scouts will help, and I think I agree that oh, we can't just let the other towns uh, perish. And we were able to at least semi route it at Kerr Koenig. We saved people; like the towns were saved. Kerr Dinabal was not completely destroyed. 
Also, I feel like the dragon is moving here, and if there's more hands here, I think we'll delay it here and maybe delay the other town so they could evacuate. Maybe we could send out people to tell other towns or something. Ravens, uh, perhaps? That, oh, okay. All right, let me back up for a second. I said Nerth, but then I realized Nerth is probably not available to do that. Uh, so let's change that to a wildlife guide named Yaselm has, has offered her uh, experience to kind of get people there faster. Um, and we can send a number of our militia with her. So I, I where should we send them? I Towards Tourmaline? Towards my lonely wood? Is that where you think it's going? Was Tourmaline the one that was, uh, that one hasn't been hit yet? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think... Uh, Tourmaline think is the one you saw that has been, but Lonely Wood is the one that has not been. Okay, so, yeah, Lonely Wood. I guess we'll say I go to Lonely Wood. Okay. And then if we'll send them out post-haste. Do we have, like, ravens or something? Do they have, like... It's a pretty big town, I guess. Do they have, like, birds they can send to other towns with, like, a message? Uh, you know, Slippy steps up and just says, Uh, you know, I got Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk can totally take this wherever <laughs> you want. And Tony he manifests Hawk. his familiar Tony Hawk. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll just send Slippy on a mission with Tony Hawk. Oh wait, Hawk. and I've got this too. I mean, I don't know if he had it, but he, he remember he got that snake and caught it and was yeah. like... Yeah, and it went to specifically one town, Targos, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he can send one to, Tar but I don't know if Targos has been hit yet. But yeah, well, just, it hasn't. You know, but I mean, it's good to know yeah. that things are coming. Yeah. Send, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Send send a message to other towns that haven't been hit. You know, I don't know if they have a way to do that. Well, and then if we know, Lonelywood is so close to Tourmaline, so maybe it's like resting or something. So maybe we go up to Tourmaline and investigate and see where it went and like try to do something about it. Because mm. we got to do something too. I don't think it's of organic nature. I don't know if it needs a break. Well, but maybe it's looking for something. If it's not attacking outright, like, they're so close, why would it wait? I think it's just going town to town. So you think it's just in the middle right now? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's just in the process of attacking a town at the moment. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we can get to Lonelywood before it will. So maybe we go to Brennan and try to cut it off if that's what it's doing? I don't know what else to do. I know. We're in a pickle here. Uh. Well, maybe we cut it off there and we oh. find out what happens next time? Or, I mean, it's yeah. up to you. I mean, 7.30 is... Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a decent time. All okay. right. Um, well, you know, actually, well, we, before we cut it let's off... Figure out, let's figure out where we're going, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Well, and as you're... As you're talking um you see this figure wearing like a a tiger's skin over their head like the head is the, the jaws are coming down they're actually wearing part of its skull as a mask and they step up like oh Harold, is that racist, terrible taste. Is terrible that racist? Taste. It's, it's very it's in very bad taste so. you guys me, this is... me and Nensha whisper <laughs> Yeah, you guys whisper disapproving it's, it's at this. Very, very bad. Very They're bad. Clearly taste. a druid, uh, but <laughs> they step up. You guys meet Yaselm. This is Yaselm Bloodfang. She was the one who offered to to help our militia get around town. Nice to meet oh. you. Nice to meet you. Um, I this is a dire situation. I died. Whatever I can do to help. I heard that you did great work over at the the west side or the east side of town. Um, what if I can do to help you? Just let me know. Yeah, I think we are going to travel together to um, Bremen. Uh, Lonely Wood or Bremen. Bremen. Okay. Okay. So, and then did I overhear that he, this this young man is going to the snake boy is going to send his. His skateboarding hawk. This His way. name is Anthony Hawk. <laughs> Anthony Hawk. Wonderful, wonderful. And what and is the he's... snake's name, little guy? Uh, his name's Slippy. No, his... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> nice to meet you, Slippy. 
And then Slippy says, oh, nice to meet you. And she like looks up from the little snake to him. <laughs> it's um, don't. <laughs> um, but I guess, I mean, if you think, the, I mean, the dragon's obviously going to travel faster. So Bremen's probably going to be the safer bet. So we can just travel there. Oh, yeah, try to warn sure. them and see who we can get out and get them back to town and see if we can't intercept the abomination. Yep. Well, you're right. We don't know how fast it is, but I, I'm sure it's going to take longer to destroy some of the bigger towns. From what we know about East Haven, it took a few hours, but compared to Care Dinaval and Care Koning, it was just a, a one hour or so. So it'll probably spend some time in Termalane before heading forward. Bremen might be a good place to cut it off. Well then, and then we can send, we're sending Tony Hawk to uh, Lonelywood to try to give them, like, a heads up. Is that what was happening? Tony Hawk can only go to Targos, but we're seeing okay. if we, we'll try no, Tony, to send... No, Tony Hawk can go wherever. The snake oh, okay. can go to Targos, so yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll send so yeah, Tony, Tony Hawk, Hawk to is going to Lonelywood. The yeah. snake's going we'll to Targos. Sweet, actually. I guess actually, the has to be close enough within the familiar's range, probably. Yeah, I right? think this is a pretty good plan then, actually. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we've got something planned. Ugh, we were not expecting this to happen so quick. We had only sent you there to scout it out, and... Ugh. Oh. What happened well, there? Well, I mean, we were just trying to get in to investigate. We weren't in there long before it got released. Ugh. Drats. Well, we pray to the gods that we survive this. All right. Bahamut got us. I was about to say, there's only one god. Come on, let's get real. <laughs> well, I mean, there's other ones, but you know. MVP, MVP. The one true god. <laughs> the real god. Fuck yeah. All right, well, that's where we're cut off. We'll find out what happens next week. We're going to be playing this on Thursdays now instead of Sundays. Woo! Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's great. That's good. Okay. What'd you message me? Let's see me. Oh, wait. That yeah, that's who you're day? talking to, Kevin. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. You asked before that. I gotcha. Yeah, you just saw it. But yeah, I, I put it together before that. All right. Dope. That, dude, that was a good game. I really that enjoyed was. that game. Yeah, that was good. good. All right. Well, I got to sit oh, here oh. while the credits go. No worries. But, yeah. I'm be down to play again next Thursday. Uh, I wish I had my groceries preemptively already because well, i guess it's already been a preemptive me but <laughs> if, if i already had my groceries then i'd get on some minecraft in them but i gotta get uh, the okay. oh. okay. yeah. what, do you is this live streamed or do you just post it somewhere oh it's live stream buddy yeah You're live on stream yeah so it's on it, we live stream on twitch it's game blaster alpha and then i post it to youtube afterwards okay same channel uh, yeah, same name. Yep. I'll put I'll put a link in the chat if you want to look at it. So yeah, man. Now you're on the internet. <laughs> so you gotta go get groceries. Yeah, I gotta get some bananas, some yogurt. Okay. than any of the other freaking books that what? anyone else is. And there's... That's where it'll be later. I have to export it, but yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. next game I'll have all the maps fixed, hopefully. All right. Well, sweet. Oh, I got to pause it so time keeps, so it doesn't keep going forward. All right. <laughs>